Hello. Hello there. <laughs> Hello everyone. We're here. It's outside extra. Yeah. With the lovely and Andy. Andy. Hi. And I'm Andy. Orca. It's Orca. It's our favourite. Oh. Orca no is offense, here. Sandy. Orca is from Kingdoms <laughs> of Alo. Oh. Yes. RPG. And no, the important thing about Orca is that no. her save data loaded correctly. No, <laughs> no, Good. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> welcome <laughs> to this Kingdoms of Amala stream to celebrate 500,000 subscribers <laughs> on Outside Extra. Very exciting. We are hosted once again generously by uh, Loading Bar here in West London and the yes. server Loading Bar. Yes, the server West branch. London. Yep. The newest Loading Bar that there is. Uh, come on down, have a drink. It's very nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, Ellen, it's been a little while since we played Kingdoms of Amalur. Yes. Please remind me what the heckins is going on. Well, what the heckins is going on is Didn't we've been... did we go in been... there and kill everything? Uh, we ki killed everything in there. Possibly. Let's go with yes. Let's say yes. Right. I think... I think, because uh, basically we're on a few few quests here. Cool. So if we go to our little quest bit, we've been following so mm -hmm. far a uh, recipe for trouble. Okay. So remember uh, Nanny Henry um, is like, she works. <laughs> Nanny Henry? Yeah. It's yeah, like Nanny no, no, Henry. Okay, <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, no, no, there it is. Um, Nanny, Han <laughs> yeah. Nanny Henry. <laughs> <laughs> there um, it is. Yep. I mean, uh, obviously, I watched your previous Kingdoms of Amber video. I mean, obviously, I couldn't, mm -hmm. couldn't tear my eyes away. And but, obviously, um, you watched them in anticipation of this stream. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. of course. I'm fully caught up on what's <laughs> going on, so I don't need sure. any story no, no. But, um, recount. Her apprentice, yeah. uh, from uh, he, Karth, he went and was working with the Le Red Legion. So okay. we've got to go and smash up some more crates. Okay. Well, we've smashed um, four already, apparently. So we're making, we're making great progress. And then also we've got to keep an eye out for a greater healing potion. Okay. For the Fae that we chatted to who wasn't well, she got injured because remember the people yes, in yes. the town she was in a house, were not she? happy. Yeah. yeah, okay. now, yeah. People about... are having trouble hearing Luke, apparently. Oh, okay. So We will crank it's... up Luke's volume. So Bring let's... it up right to your face. Yeah. <laughs> Just... There we, there we go. go. Okay, oh, we'll crank that up. As we can see in the menu, Orca is wearing a helmet there, but oh, you can't see it there because of the amazing it's just feature. One of the many great features yeah. in Kingdoms of Amalur. <laughs> right. Don't worry, guys, if you're worried that you're not going to hear about all the great features of Kingdoms of Amalur <laughs> uh, that you've already heard before, you will get to hear them again. Let's get How this about... comment in quickly from Dally Daydream, who can't stay. I just want to say congrats oh. on the 500k. I oh, yeah. saw this joke and thought of you. Uh -huh. Why does a flamingo stand on one leg? Why? If it stood on no legs, it'd fall over. <laughs> Classic. So, Good. 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 That's good. <laughs> it's good and it's funny and true. It's funny and yeah, it is that's true. what I like it about is it. True. Yeah, it's funny and, a, true. and yet there's the smack of authenticity to the comedy. <laughs> uh, right, the crates so we we're going to go, yeah, we're going to head north. Let's not delay. Charge up there uh, and smash up some crates. How about we smash up some crates and then do some story quests? Yes. Because seeing as we only play this game uh, once every few years. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, I, I I'd like, like to play it more. Sure. Uh, I mean, I'll sure. be honest. With you. I'll tell you what. Uh, I think, um, oh. Okay, oh, we can, uh. Oh, yeah, pop a, pop some consumables in your, in your radial. Um. Healing potions, obviously. Healing potion. What other ones do you, could you possibly need? Uh. uh shadow <laughs> prism? Venom? No, they're. These all look complicated. they I never use shadow prisms. Uh, um. All you need is healing. And mana. Oh, That's yeah, all you need. One. All you need is those two. All right, smack that boggart. Smack him up. And that boggart. Smack his boggart face. Yes. yes. Is a boggart like a boglin? Um, Are they the same thing? Kind of. It's got, it's got a little wooden mask. Oh. Possibly because it's got... They're uh, kind of like, yeah, they're magical creatures that are formed of things. So they're kind they're of They're in like, Harry Potter, right? Boggarts? But, well, boggarts are uh, like in old... English my culture, yeah. like my, um, for grandparents used to read me a, a your grandparents the boggart, a sc scary story about a boggart. Yeah. yeah, the boggart. It's yeah. a great, great. Look it up. Look it up. Seriously, it's, it's terrifying. Uh, yeah, it, it is. Won't it's leave you alone. Kind of no, and it's always like oh, yeah, I can't remember. It's always like tapping they're on. They're kind the of like yeah, they're like magical. Oh, it's been a while. Starring in Casablanca. That's a bogart. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Just loot that big tree organ yes and these things all refresh over time right here we are Very nice here we okay are. right smashy 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 
Oh, right, I've got to remember how to stealth. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I didn't. No. It's fine. I didn't. I didn't. That didn't happen. Uh, uh, All right, time for some uh, comments while you're doing this. Okay. Uh, we've got Trinity McKenzie here who uh, <laughs> donates and says, just showing my appreciation of how much fun it is watching your content. Absolutely one of the best parts of my day. Aww. So thank, thank you very much thank you. Well, for that nice comment. Uh, and ZuruPop91 asks, uh, are you guys going to do any more Monster Hunter videos? Oh, Monster Hunter. Um, I think we might. I'll tell you what, there's some, uh, I think there's some DLC for me. So that might be a point to uh, dip back in. Yeah, that's good. I think feel increasingly bad right. about uh, yeah. comments yeah. while you're doing this. Okay, because of the way that uh, they Trinity McKenzie here, here who uh, donates yeah. and says, just showing um, my appreciation so how much fun it is watching your content. It takes an emotional toll on me. So I, the question is really just how how much pain uh, can I endure? Uh, uh, are you guys going to do any more monsters? Uh, Luke, oh, apparently you still sound echoey. Is Luke's oh. mic definitely is on? Is my microphone definitely uh, hooked up? I wonder. We're definitely on for Luke sound. It might be they're just picking you up through another mic. Yeah, could be. But... Uh, <laughs> The comment, <laughs> the comment section Ooh, currently is just the word that. echo by everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, yeah. That's Don't worry, we're on it. Is Luke all godly again? <laughs> With the reverb. Your audio is coming in twice. I don't oh, know what that okay. means. Audio loops. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Wow. Sound overlap. Oh, man. It sounds like it's all kicking off. Yeah. It sounds like the best thing we can do is just to be quiet. Overlapping audio and echo. Or to say things that are so funny and entertaining. Old sound is overlapping. Oh, no. Okay. My right. laptop sound isn't on, people in the comments who are saying that. It's back to normal. Okay. okay. We think it's back to normal. Oh, is that one of the chests? I think it's Ooh. fixed now. Yes, I think it is. Hey. No, it's, oh, it's just, just can, can you hear Luke? <gasps> Everyone. Can, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. <laughs> Nobody would have believed. Luke oh. is eternal, says Riddle, which doesn't let me know how he sounds, but but it is true. Yeah, sound is fine. Hey, okay, good. Hooray! Cool. All right, sorry about that. Good. All right, good stuff. Lovely. I've uh, got a couple of new channel members: uh, Nick Jeffrey, cool. Uh, cool. Just Know Yes, Mr. Stephen Lloyd, uh, Commander Janeway. Wow. Oh. Cull Obsidian. Thank you. Uh, Bell, Taylor Sweeney. Uh, all new channel members, so thanks very much, guys. That's oh, awesome. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome hey, along. Hey, I smashed a crate. I Good. Did it. you got to smash four more, Ellen. Come on, hop okay, to it. Okay, I'm going to start this law stone. Dalentard oh, stone. Uh, no, no, no. It's so fine. Funny. It's fine. We don't. It, it, there's <laughs> subtitles. People well, can follow. Okay, all right. Well, follow along at home okay. if you so desire. <laughs> the exploits of this maiden's role a burdensome and heavy toll. Uh, Brad Van Lunen says I've been with you guys since day one and have enjoyed all the antics every oh, single one of your antics no, surely not all the antics every wow. single antic some, has been enjoyed some of the antics I've found deeply troubling <laughs> you never failed to brighten my day and I can't thank you enough oh, much thank love you. thank you very and much and the Rupert Litterbin says don't think I can stream snipe Orca oh well well no I mean lucky lucky yeah. for you Rupert frankly because Orca would not uh, <laughs> would not have any patience for that stand for any right, of that go, nonsense go on go on go on go on Whoa! Oh, he's pretty strong. Oh, he was just practicing his archery. Well, Checking out all his good dying. shots. I don't, you well, fire idiot. He's practiced it. I don't think he needs to practice. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty good at it. I like the way they yeah. steam a little bit. Do you? Yeah, That's a weird awesome. thing to like. It's a weird thing, <laughs> it's a weird thing to be into, Luke. Uh, Stephen Jones donates. Thank you very much. And Rallon Storm says, it's my last day of my internship, so obviously I have time to watch this stream. Tally-ho, Orca. <laughs> <laughs> Tally-ho! Uh, pay attention though on the on the um, on the on the, the the thing. What was the thing called? What's the where thing? What's the thing where you go to work? Oh, the internship. The internship. That's it. What's <laughs> the thing where you go What's to work? <laughs> I haven't had a real job for so long. Andy and I have this conversation every Monday morning. What's that thing you What's do? Thing? You get money for it. You do for money. <laughs> kind of, it's, it's like walk, but not. It's like dancing. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that, that game Job Simulator, but mm. not, yeah, but real. Ah, yeah. 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 Got yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, going to unlock another chest. Uh, hi to Frederick Granath, who says, huge congrats, well deserved, this stream is going to be awesome. Yes. Be awesome. Oh. If we see an orc. <laughs> Sonia McClary or says, love your faces. Yay. Yay. Face love. Are. See those faces. There they right. are. Okay. Cherubic. <laughs> This uh, is the last crate. Did it. 
Hey! All right. Okay, so we did that. Let's go tell Nano Henry that we've done their work for them. Yep. You're welcome. Run, 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 run. Oh. Hey, guys. Bandits. Smash their faces in. I like how some of them, they spot you, and then they kind of just... Yes, Ellen. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to... That sentence? They just point at you first? Oh. Well, they're like marking you out for their yeah. mates, aren't they? They're like, she's, she's over here. Sense. Get her. Time for work, boys. That's what it's called, work. Oh, yeah, work. Yeah. Uh, there you go. That's, yeah. the thing. That's the thing. There we go. <laughs> That's it. Uh, thanks oh. to Caden, Caden Seal, Seal. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Saying congrats. Stay one sub on Outside Extra. Love you guys so much. Watch most of your videos and you've cheered me up countless times. Oh, happy, to, nice. happy to help with the cheering up. Yeah. Um, I forgot that this game has a brilliant glitch where sometimes the subtitles hang around on screen. Yeah. <laughs> it's still <laughs> time for work, time boys. Time for work, boys. Yep. <laughs> it's the slogan of the stream. I've never had... I think it's your Xbox. What do you mean it's my Xbox? I've never had that before. Well, maybe, On the, like... Maybe it's a feature in your Far Xbox too many hours broken. that I've played. <laughs> maybe... I mean, you've, they really want you to appreciate that line. They really yeah. crafted that exactly. line. Exactly. You don't spend all that time yeah. uh, writing this dialogue and not have it on screen for the rest of the game. Yeah. They don't, like, race through Shakespeare. It's, like, double speed, do they? They exactly. want you to... They take their time. And really, when I first heard it, I, I thought, well... He means uh, time to go to work, killing Orca. Yeah. But now, I now it's taking on all sorts of new meanings. The yeah. more I, uh, you know, dig deeper into the semantics. Time right. for time, time for work, boys. Andy, for work, you boys. see yeah. these? They've got like little glowy things. Are these boggets? Yeah. Right. The boggit is saying it's time for work, boys. <laughs> 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 what or is Orca saying? It's time for work. I mean, it's really multi-layered. Oh. Yeah. Metatextual narrative. It's a sentence that is literally always appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> now, time. So, what do we mean by time <laughs> when we say time? I mean, uh, sure, we mean the linear progression oh, of time. But then also, yeah, make sorry. time. Yeah, make time for work. For boys. work. For work, boys. But do we mean work, comma boys, or, or do, do we, we mean, mean work boys? Boys who are working. Boys, work boys, oh, as they're okay. otherwise known. <laughs> work boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for work, boys. But also, it's time for work boys. It's time for work boys. <laughs> yeah, the time yeah. is is for the work boys. Yeah, if you put emphasis on each word, it makes are you, a difference. Are you guys having fun? Yes. I think it's most fun, fun to put the emphasis on boys. Time for work boys. It's good emphasis. Thank I you. like it. It's Shakespearean. Um, a few Time more comments here. Work. Mr. Stephen Lloyd uh, donates. Thank you very much. And Thank James much. Nye says, congrats on 500k. Awesome vids. Awesome laughs. Awesome hair as always. One food you must have every day. Oh, is, uh, is, is that a question or is it an order? Uh, <laughs> one okay. food you must have every day. I tend to, I need one or more foods every day. Yeah. I get very cranky. Yeah. Um, one does. food I must have every day. Is there day. any food you eat every day? Is it? Well, Diet Coke's a drink. It's not a food, but I probably yeah. do consume it coffee. every day. I know every it's day. not very good for you. Tea. Yeah, coffee or tea. Yeah. All not ideal. All not great. For the human body. Um, <laughs> um, what's something that I have to eat every day? Uh, here we go, here we go. I don't I know. Know. I don't know. You, you like to change things up, don't you? I do. I like to mix yeah. things up. It's not always Diet Coke. Sometimes yeah. it's uh, uh, a Fanta. Sometimes it's Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Well, no, it's not Coke Zero. <laughs> it's Diet Coke or Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the subtitle went. Oh, no. Oh, no. wait. It's oh. no longer time for work, boys. <laughs> Got to behave boys yourself now. down tools. It is no longer time. <laughs> oh, was this Nana Henry? Yeah. The really weird is accent. She, <laughs> is she standing in a hole? <laughs> I like how she puts no. her arms up in the air. <laughs> Aww. Very um, expressive, Nana. Shri says, congrats on the 500k subs. You guys deserve it for all the great work you do, Thank which is you. cool. And Velcro Yuppie is by to say, I'm pumped for this Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning live stream. Yay, Ellen, our ambassador. Pay attention, Luke. Learn from the queen. <laughs> 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 Okay. Oh, we've got some robes. We've got Yay. some regen. We've got some po uh, potions. Let's put it's it good. on. Uh, yeah, do you want to have a look? Okay, right. Uh, also, I think because um, we finished this quest for her, now mm -hmm. things are slightly cheaper from her. Oh, nice. Well, so, does she have anything we want, though? Well, let's have a look. There's some RPGs you don't want to be spending cash in the merchants. You can pick it all up in the wilds. Yes, uh, thing potions. is. Oh, we could use some potions. Um, maybe. I mean, we could. Uh, I'd say save it because it's all yeah, very it costs expensive. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, 
my goodness. But the thing is, you get to a point where you're just rolling in it. So like but the we're early, not there yet. no, we're, we're still very early in the game. <laughs> We've not played much for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Can we sell all of our junk? Um, oh yes, that that's an excellent thing. Um, if you can mark things as junk, and then it sells it automatically. So we just sold. had one. Oh, we sold okay. it for nothing for, for no nothing. gold. Orga, yeah, you're not negotiating. <laughs> 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 well, it would have been one like one coin that we could. Oh, okay, sure, okay. But as we improve our uh, merchantile skills, uh, then we get sure. we get more things. So right. cheers. We could ask you loads of questions, but we won't for the moment. Let's do a story uh, quest. We're going to go on okay. story quest. So, let's have a quick look in the quest. Into the, Into light. the light. Speak with a fate, fate weaver. weaver in Gorehart. Agarth, fate, fate weaver, and something. Yeah. Okay. Now, there we go. So, now, now we're back on the story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> going to be remembering what the story is <laughs> in no time. Commander Janeway is back saying, Coming in part of Flamingo Squad, Ellen, don't kill me. She's capable of it. <laughs> <laughs> so. I think that's a reference to the way that Ellen famous, infamously oh. uh, off to Flamingo ah. <laughs> little to no of course. Uh, provocation of course I'd uh, forgotten except that she wanted to watch it die I suppose <laughs> yeah. uh, why else would you shoot a Flamingo that wasn't bothering you uh, we'll never really know her reasoning because it's impossible to get into the mind of, of a killer of a killer, <laughs> a killer like that uh, speaking of Flamingos Kaz Swift says my very confused mum has made a Flamingo with sunglasses to be the Flamingo's mascot for Luke yeah oh. So that's, oh, that's, that's good. awesome. Doesn't sound like your uh, mum is confused. Sounds like she knows uh, exactly what's up. Uh, Prince Evil Regal says, so now that you guys have finally continued Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, brackets yay, when are you going to do something with Detroit Become Human? Um, I haven't played any Detroit Become Human. No, I've heard neither. that it's actually not yeah. terrible, even though it's a David Cage game, well, and we're a bit suspicious of those, right? When yeah. will, will we ever find out if Detroit manages to become human? Uh, Detroit sort of becomes human in the film Robocop, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, the, the city of Detroit is a major character in yeah, the film yeah, exactly. Robocop. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Second only to Robocop. Yeah, but Detroit, the gets, main character. Detroit gets all the best lines. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, Robocop, you're crazy. <laughs> Stop standing on me, Robocop. Yeah. <laughs> and Robocop, other classics. you live in me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the city of Detroit. <laughs> other, you know, all these classic lines. <laughs> My major export is cars. <laughs> Corks, Robocop. Hope you solve my crime problem. <laughs> but then Robocop does. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to start up this law stone so oh, we can no. <laughs> keep going along. Okay. Uh, only, if we get, only if the last line of the subtitle stays on the thing. Neuralim's embrace. The summer manifests as an immortal okay. fame. Gonna... Sounds chill. You know him, the, um... her, it as the resplendent warrior or the ardent <sighs> conqueror. You mortals named him King Issa. 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 In the youth of your people's memory, you bore witness. Oh, I didn't read that one in time. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, something. Boggets, boggets, boggets. Okay. It's uh, time. JP Corkery says, can't watch the stream today because the sun's out in Ireland and I finally get to go on my boat trip. Hey! I'll watch it when I'm back on land. Hey! Um, well, that way you get the best of both worlds because you get to go on a boat. Oh, look at those yeah. broad rays. Be sure to put on lots of sunscreen to get really sunburned out at the sea. Yes, exactly. Yeah. People think that the ocean will be cool. And, and it, it is, ways, generally. It is, generally. But However, you forget that the sun beats down harshly. Exactly. Yeah. Harshly, indeed. So, Ooh, what's wrong with this? Do you want to talk to this guy? Well, he's got a limp. Only if he's going to be quick He's taken it. an arrow to the knee or hip, possibly. He's lost his shirt. He does actually look a bit like a white run guard, doesn't he, from Skyrim? Where's Two his shirt legs. gone? Did he just call us two legs? Yeah. Other yeah. two legs are cruel. Is he a Neanderthal? Has he just been thawed out? Hmm. What curse is that? <laughs> oh, he's a wolf. He's a wolf? I'm oh. a wolf, he says. I think he's a wolf, guys. Oh, God, I vaguely remember this one. He's been shapeshifted into an incredibly ripped man body. Mm. Oh, that's woe his, is me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> me. that's his cross to there. I look like a CrossFit champion. I forgot how, um, I forgot how Orca looks totally disdainful in every con, in every chat cutscene. Just like totally like, skip to the end. <laughs> <laughs> Will you help me two legs? I'm not getting great vibes about this guy. Look at his wild eyes. Look at his, yeah. yeah, well he's a wolf, isn't he? Hmm. he I know. Get? What does a wolf need help with? Don't bother me, you weird wolf man. <laughs> we'll help. Thank you, think. two legs. I need water from a magic <laughs> well. 
Why does he need water from a magic well? Kind of water from a regular well. That's not going to sort you out if you're a wolf man. Ah. Uh -huh. Wolves drink regular water. The what? Well, the well they guard is older than this wood. Okay. Okay. The power is a little bit like that. What? Okay. All right, find the well. All right. All right. Um, Let, I'll I... tell you what. Let's have a look. Can we see it on a map? If it's going the same way. <laughs> <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm going past the magic well. Oh, look, I think we might it's be there. because it's it. And then okay. we want to well, go far. down there. I mean, oh, it's not far. Okay. It's a let's brisk do jog. It. Let's, I kind of want to see what happens to the wolf man in the end. Okay. Paul O'Malley donates and says, can't wait Thank to have Paul. a look at this you. Um I assume he means Kingdoms of Amala. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, thank you very much, Paul. That's very kind. Uh -huh. Hunter McKenzie oh, oh. says, Morning Hello. from Texas A&M University. Currently cooking breakfast hash browns and chilaquiles, Hang I think on. that is, and watching you all. Congrats on the 500k. Keep it up. What are chilaquiles? Uh, I've got no idea. They sound delicious. Google it because I've not, not heard of that. Chilaquiles. Ooh. Okay. It's like uh, corn Ooh. tortillas. Oh, no. Don't. Punch it to death. It's basically oh, like uh, oh! slimy. <laughs> oh! You made shit the quiles out of him. Oh. Oh. That was a lot more savage than I was expecting. Wow. Yikes. Now I see why Ellen likes this game. It's basically it's tortillas savage. covered in salsa and chicken and stuff. Oh, man, which sounds amazing. really nice. That sounds great. Yeah. Good choice. Uh, yeah, good choice of what to be cooking. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, look, there's, is that the well? <laughs> Zach Morrow says congrats on 500k subs guys coming to you from Maryland Andy please wash that Spitfire jersey you've been wearing it for days now <laughs> I have washed it since I got back from New York but you know I just you know oh. repping the Spitfires well done to those guys for winning well it's good. done to the Spitfires and well done Ellen for healing in time there you nearly um, nearly bought the farm top work I'll take your appreciation Ooh. as implied <laughs> Slice, slice. Cool. 91 Glen R says, congrats on the 500k, my birthday, and an Oxford Kingdoms of Amalur stream. It doesn't get better. You're the best. Well, Aww. happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's awesome. Yeah, congrats on your birthday. Yeah. Ooh, congrats. Congratulations. Uh, Albie Moyer says, I lost it finding out this would be a live stream, and I've lost it more seeing my favorite Oxfam, Andy. Hello. Nice to see you. But I've been trying to send something, but never usually catch this. Love you guys. Aww. Thank you, Albie. Yeah, That's thank awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Right. Yeah. Was, uh, Where was the well? Where were we right by it? Well. We were right there, I thought. Oh, oh! Do we, have we got the thing? Do we have to go back to the Wolfman now? Or? Hang on. Where's did did you see a well? Was there a well? There was a well. There was a well. Okay. I had a little. It might be a magicy thing. Oh, oh, magic! Where it moves. Oh no! Oh no! He's oh, we it. Must have, we must have got the water. Maybe. Hello, we got it. Come to you empty-handed. What? No, we took. All right, back to the well. What? Oh man, this guy's such a bad. Attitude. Oh, the well the vanished. Well vanished. Oh, yeah, no, the well vanishes. Did I not mention that when I said <laughs> 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 Didn't think it would come up. <laughs> Why is this wolf man who's asking a massive favour of us? Why does he keep calling <laughs> us two legs? And yeah, we have a name. It's a dumb name, but it's a name. Man, this, 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 this guy's eyes are quite intense. Patrick Long says, congratulations on half a million, guys. No one deserves it more. I'd watch Ellen play Kings of Avala simply because it's fun to watch someone play a game they love. Will Aww. we get any more Red Dead Redemption-style full playthroughs slash serieses? Well, I think when Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out, that's probably mm. okay, a great deal of stuff is going to be happening. Yeah, there. yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll play through all of Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, maybe you should. But... Yeah. Well, maybe you should play through it once by yourself. And then play through it, it again. To enjoy it because you deserve it. Yeah, I like, I like that thinking. That's good. Play That's good. Again. Uh, yeah, for everyone else to enjoy. Oh, man. Can Swift turned uh, their Switch into an OX Switch by accidentally turning it purple and green? Oh. Pictures of it and the flamingo on my Twitter, at Karma Whitlock. So we can... Check it out. Check it out. Sorry, I've just had to switch to uh, daggers. Oh, oh, oh there's the, the OX oh, switch. Cool. Oh, so nice. Purple and green Joy-Cons. Joy That's very cool. That looks awesome. Um, should I try dispelling? I've not done dispelling in a while. Is this, the, is this to do with the quest? So, okay. Okay. 
Frodo Baggins says, congrats hey. on 500k, guys. Been loads of fun to see you over the past couple of years. Watching this while planning a four horsemen themed D&D campaign. So that's Four cool. Horseman themed. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Everyone gets to be a horseman, I suppose. Remember Frodo? We met Frodo at EGX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So, hello. Hello. Good luck with the uh, D&D campaign. It sounds badass. Yeah. Harvest oh, Leechwood Bark. Ellen, I'm getting bored of the Wolfman's demands. <laughs> This stupid wolf man. We'll we'll sort you out later, Mister Wolf. Yeah. We tried. We got. I got to kill we some went, sprites. Look, we yes. went to the well. We Should did. have mentioned that the well moved around. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Stephen Spradlin donates. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and Haven Derail says, "I'm so excited to be finally catching a live stream. I've been following Oxbox for years and Oxtra from the start. The content is always amazing. Oh, Love you all. Thank you, oh, thank you Haven. Much. That is very kind of you to say." Yeah. Oh, who's this? Oh, okay, here's a question. Oh, is this a side quest? No, <laughs> you, no, you no, 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 no. You're no. like, we should go on the main quest, and then every single person with um, an exclamation mark, you're like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just touch the control for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> there we Do you want to have a go? Okay. No, 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 no. Because you, you I want, I want, okay. Okay, okay. As okay. Part of it is fun is watching you experience the game properly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Let me just reacquaint with the, with the um, controls. Do you want to be carrying the flame sword again? Because uh, I'm going to say yes. Uh, it's a slightly slower attack than the daggers, which is what I'm used to, which I changed. That's I'm, um, I'm sure I can figure it out. What does the most damage? That's the thing. Is it this? 11 physical damage, 4 piercing damage. 28 physical damage. Really slow, though. 34? Yeah, but I'll only need to hit them once. Okay. It's perfect weapon. Right. Oh, yeah, look at it. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, you all better watch it. Oh, it's a deer. Hello, friend. Uh, here's a fun question Go for you, away. Luke, and for everyone. Uh -huh. You guys are the only channel where I enjoy every video you put out. Please accept my first donation ever. Aww. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Wow, thank you. Uh, this is Grits, uh, and they also ask, who's everyone's favorite Disney character? <gasps> Well, what a question! We talked about well, favorite Disney movies on the last. Yeah, but stream, characters. The characters. That's a much, that's such a much harder question. I'm gonna I'm gonna start mm. out by just throwing this out there. Kronk from the Emperor's New Groove. He's great. Oh, I he's love Kronk great. so much. So much time for Kronk. Yeah. Um, I really like. Ooh, here we go. We're at the hut. I really like um, uh, Anna and Elsa from Frozen. Yeah. Like their uh, They're great. sister <gasps> dynamic. I watched um, uh, Moana. Oh, yeah. the weekend. Moana's yeah. so good. And like, awesome. Or, uh, like, I think <laughs> our favourite character was technically the chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really like the sea in Moana. <gasps> the sea, no, yeah, the yeah. sea in Moana is great because it's, like, just this thing, and it's like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, let's table this chat for now because we're about to do some gripping KOA story. Mm -hmm. and, and it is going to remind us what the story is. Okay. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, no. There's been an accident. A grisly scene. I'm going to get my fingerprints off. Yes. <laughs> You're not at all what I expected to find here. There's someone has died. You killed Arden. That was bad of you. <laughs> oh, is that the name of this fake weaver? <gasps> no. The Tuatha I was following killed him. Well, we've only got your this word for that. Give me an idea of why they were here. Ellen, the fake weaver's dead. Oh, no. Oh, there's blood on the walls. Why assume I'm involved? Could have been anyone. Shall I try that? Yeah. It's a possibility. Hey! You did have a... If you failed, I would have felt very bad for you. <laughs> that 5% chance. What should I say? How do you know me? How do you know how, me? How do you know me? That no, icon we, on the oh, right. we lost our memory! Ah. That icon on the right looks just like the marker from Dead Space. I feel like oh, yeah. everyone's going to go space mad. Well... <laughs> Is EA? Whoa, There's whoa, 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 Hang on, whoa, smoke whoa, bomb. Whoa, 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 I didn't know whoa, we could whoa, smoke whoa. bomb. Whoa, 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 Since when can we smoke bomb? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. whoa! He didn't even smoke bomb. It's he just Agarth. hit. <laughs> Agarth has no time for smoke bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Arden's dead. He's, How did this happen? He's Agarth. He's not the Garth. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, Agarth. I know this looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> looks like it was his time. Agarth, I need you to help me bury this body. No, it wasn't. <laughs> what? Did he smell bad? <laughs> <laughs> he does now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't take me to the luck. Hey, this, this was, wasn't my hey fault. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, Agar. 
Hey, Agarth, be cool. Something is You're cool. in this too now, Agarth. <laughs> yeah, We're in this together. I'll tell, them we did, I'll tell them we did it together. <laughs> tell them it was your idea. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're going down as well, Agarth. Who are they going to believe? <laughs> Here, let me sp- smear blood on you. <laughs> help, help, Agarth. <laughs> <laughs> He's attacking me as well. Uh, well, I suppose I should ask, what, what do we do now? Yeah. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But we're going to have to go to Delark. Oh. All right, we're off to Delark. Uh, we've got quite a few messages to get through. So oh, right. uh, we've got a random mm-hmm. username for Chris, very generously donates, and says, oh. thanks for reading out all my messages. No problem. Yeah, no worries. Thank I-, you. I wonder, what is your favorite episode oh. of Show of the Weekend, I guess? Oh, man. Oh, that's a really good question. Um, favorite episode of Show of the Weekend. Uh, do you know what? I would say that the episode that's going out tomorrow is genuinely in my top... <laughs> it's definitely in my top five. Yeah. Um, because there's two things in the quiz that just had me howling with laughter while, <laughs> while I was editing it. Excellent. Um, so I'm really excited about that one. Um, I like... Uh, I li- Well, I like... I don't know. The one that I'm most proud of is definitely the Evil Within... Uh, um, oh, the uh, quiz. The, the quiz. The, the choose, choose your own adventure, adventure thing, thing, where yeah. at the end Ellen's a penguin. Because yeah. um, I, remember ri- I remember just like writing that on the train on the way to the studio and just like, oh. and just like double taking and just being like, what am I? This is bad. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I felt like I'd lost my mind. So yeah. it was gratifying when, when, that, when, that, when mm. that worked. How about like- you, Ellen? Um, there's a lot. We're in a very interesting place right now, just to Ooh. warn you. Is it full of ghosts? No, oh. something else. I like oh. the episode where I wrote the Sonic the Hedgehog. The yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog is very fun. Speed is your god now. Yeah, Ooh, that was fun. Kind of rock. Go on, Ellen. You got to. You got to pick. Uh, the random. Um, or the, I think oh, no. the uh, first one. Yeah, arachnophobes. Be warned. I don't mind these ones much. Because they look like crabs. Because they look like weird crabby things. Got spiky elbows. They're all spiky. Oh no! That person's in trouble. Have some of this. Uh, they also say, congrats on 500k, celebrate on me by drinking a rum, Andy, port, Luke, and whatever that blue stuff, short Luke Picard, Ellen was drinking on holiday. Oh, yeah. Whatever that blue a stuff blue was. blue angel. Oh, nice. Ah, more webbed up. Uh, Commander Janeway says, Andy, as someone from Philly, you're really rubbing in the wind, just saying. <laughs> S- sorry, it's, it's my boy Prophet. You can't, you can't Prophet rein can't in. Stopped. Once Prophet is uh. on, a, on a tear. He is DPS God. Yeah, you better run. The, <laughs> the spider considers me so not a threat. <laughs> it's, gone, it's gone back to shooting this. To, be, to be fair, the crowd at the Overwatch finals was about two, th- at least two thirds for Philly. They had the most support mm. there, and London actually got booed when they came yeah. out. Oh, but they won the round. They won the round. It was cool. Uh, 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 uh. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Night Taxi 17 says, Happy Friday, Luke, Ellen, and Andy. Congrats on the 500k. One mil is right around the corner. Woo! Andy, I hope that Ellen hasn't tied you to your chair to make sure you watch Kingdoms of Amala. <laughs> I'm not tied Andy's to not my chair. Tied to his chair. <laughs> it's fine. It's a kind of adhesive, some yeah. sort of glue. Yeah. The, I don't know. The manacles are out of shot. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, it uh, dissolves over time. So when the stream is over, I'll be able to leave. Yeah. Well, so. when the stream is over, plus 10 or 12 hours. Well, they, yeah, the time frame is. Uh, <laughs> the time frame. It's a loose time frame. <laughs> Uh, Zekluriab says, this channel is why I've invested so much time in this game. Ellen's enthusiasm for its gameplay was so infectious, and I have had an ex Ellen time. Hey! Yes. Like the word excellent, but with Ellen in it. Yeah. But with an Ellen in it. But so. better, because it's got an Ellen in it. It's time for work, boys. This <laughs> 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 is all kicking off, and have you heard saying? <laughs> are all ca- oh, why is it vomiting? More spides. They're all poisonous. Why is it always vomiting? <laughs> It feels poisonous. like that would be unsustainable. You can't infinitely vomit. Well, they can infinitely make webs, so why not? They can't infinitely make webs, surely. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, Luke. You're really low on health. I know. You know, Luke, if you die on this, you this means... Life. Yes. This means it's harder than Dark Souls, because you finished <laughs> Dark Souls. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Although, yeah, no. It, that logic, it checks out. Well, it's okay. I'm not going to die in this. I'm going to kill this spider. Okay. And then I'm going to figure out how you get more health. Do we need health potions? Yeah. I don't think uh, we have any. Yeah, no, no, we do. We don't have any of the small ones. Oh, okay. But oh, okay. If you go into the menu. <laughs> oh, I'll simply use... Inventory. Simply use... Use consumables. the consumables. Consume one of these. 
consumables. <laughs> uh, uh, oh no, the mi- minor health regen. Just crunch regen. down on a shadow prism. That will sort you out. Yeah. Crunch it down like Tell an old what, Twix. I'll use one of these. This should regenerate my health over time, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. Good. DM McDermott uh, says, oh, "Can't stay, but I'll watch later over dinner." Hi. DM McDermott later oh, on dinner. Hello. Uh, just wanted to say congratulations. You're the first channel I've been following from the start, and you keep getting better. Thanks for all you do. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you for watching. And Matthew Rand says, thank "Love you guys." Words. My 18-month-old son loves you guys also. So, Aww. hello to Matthew Rand's 18-month-old son. Hello. Yay. Hello. Hello. Thank you for watching. The Mad Hatter 71 says, "Have some dollary dues for the 500k <laughs> subs." Wish you guys the best getting to one mil. Getting to that sweet one milli. I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to is five million, because that's when we're going to play Kingdom of Amalur again. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want to see this again, hurry <laughs> up and sub. Five million and Real Grog says, smash a lovely Aww, pint with this. Cool. I missed the five-person streams, but y'all are amazing. Uh, yeah, we, sorry about the five-person streams. We've been all over the place the past yeah, few weeks. We yeah, have. it's been a really busy summer, actually. We've just been, yeah, we've yeah. been all over the shop. All over. I was in Edinburgh, all and then we, I was in New York last week, and uh, Mike's off uh, with his car. Mm. And, uh, yeah, it's a busy, busy time, but hopefully we'll all get back together soon for another five-person stream. Whoop. Ooh, I can level up. Yeah. Uh, alchemy. No. <laughs> Spelling. Where's the Lock health? picking, break into everyone's house. Where's the health one? No, health is just... Oh, health is just health. A different thing. Well, Don't forget there's two screens because of the wonderful Oh, yes, of course. System. Okay. Uh, so which of these is best, Ellen? Which one should I get? Um, lock picking. Lock picking is pretty good just because then you, it gets easier to get more loot because stuff is expensive. Oh, and now here we go. Now we get a proper, uh, yeah. proper here skill. Here we go. A real skill. Uh, snag an enemy and pull it back to you. I've got that one already, haven't I? Yeah. Um, you can, but you can level it up um, or do different things. Sword. Also, this is only might. You've also got sorcery and finesse. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, so I do. Ah, okay, but I've got three to put into might. How about I put more into swords? Yeah. Would that be okay? Luke, left one? on directional pad to heal, says Zaxan. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good tip. Thank that's you. good tip. And... Um, can you run? Have you been running? Someone's saying you, you, you can hold run. down A. Hold down A. Oh, I should be sprinting more. Yeah. Okay, smash the ground to cause a tremor, damaging enemies. That sounds good. Should we do that? Yeah, if you want to try that. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, cool. What's, oh, this is exciting. Nick Jeffrey says, hey guys, looking forward to EGX, all four days and two live shows, where I have a new OX themed t shirt to show you, <gasps> and we'll have gifts for all of the Ox Venturers, including the intrepid DM Johnny. Oh, cool. Ooh. So that's exciting. Looking forward to seeing you there, Nick. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you and seeing everyone who's coming to EGX. This one looks good. Look, this gives me uh, a surge of health and uh, increased damage when my health is below 25%, which it always is. All right, yeah. so now then. Let's have that. Uh, you got another point. And got one more point. You one can go into sorcery. What sorcery is usually there's some good spells? Because at the moment, we've only got two spells. Okay, but I can put, I've can. i got one more point to put into. Oh, no, no, I no, no it's across oh, all yeah. oh, okay, okay, three. Okay, 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 okay. Do I have a healing spell, maybe? Or maybe <laughs> what's this one? Oh, electrical energy. You've got that. Yeah, maybe I should boost it, though. Because you have to spend... Don't stop going around all those. Go on to the second level. Okay. And so you need five points in sorcery abilities to open up that second oh. level. Mm. So that's why everything's greyed out there. Yeah, sure. But just, I don't know. Just pick Rose. something. Pick something. Okay, let's do this one. All right. Cool. King of the Bottle Shooter says, congrats on 500k, guys. Thoroughly deserved, but I hope you aren't going to make Ellen wait until 1 million to carry on. We're not. We just said 5 million. 5 million. Yeah, 5 million. It's going to be sweet. And Commander Jane, where he says, resubscribe, losing your wallet sucks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry to hear you lost your wallet. That is the worst. It's the actual worst. Oh, we got um, Kings of Zamalo question here from Buenos Diaz. Cool. Good morning from Texas. Congrats on 500k subs. Ellen, what's your ideal setup for your Kingdom of Zambolo character? I enjoy my sneaky mage build every time. Yeah, same. Ooh. Sneaky mage. Sneaky mage. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand going into might at all, but it, that's how different people play. So smashy, smashy. Exactly. Um, it, I, like, I like that it has that freedom, and yeah, I like magic is just so... S- slightly overpowered <laughs> in this, but it's so good. Mark of Flame, as soon as you can unlock that, get that, and then you're sorted. 
Uh, Doc Warren says, congrats on the milestone and continue the great work. Thank you very much, Doc. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, Lily Brazil says, Luke, what's your opinion on Warren from Life is Strange? Ooh, and then two heart care- Luke, emojis. Caref- careful, 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 careful. Ah, okay, well, I have strong feelings about Warren from yeah. Life is Strange, um, but I also don't want to become wolf meat. I see. See, we're in so Ettenmere. I will, so I tell you what, let me smash these wolves and then I'll tell you all about Warren. Actually, you know, maybe I can do both. Okay, so... No, I can't. No, I can't. Need, need to smash. Need to smash. Okay, why can't I... It's all good. It's all good. So you've got your fate on full thing now. Yeah, okay. How do I... How do I... Two... Both both triggers. Yeah. Yes, wolf. Right. Hit the wolf. Yeah, I'll hit the wolf. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Um, I'd say go for the Etin. Go for the Etin, the okay, big guy. Cool. You're running out of time. No, no, no he's, he's, he's evading me, Ellen. Yeah, the, the, the swords mean you're slower. You've got to dodge, 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 dodge. Go, hit it, hit it. Oh, he's tough. Okay, okay. you're using up. He's get him. <laughs> get him. <laughs> there we yeah, go. You got him, you got him. Hey, got him. hey, 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 now, now, yeah. now. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong button. I pressed A on uh, Switch. <laughs> uh. Oh, you know what? I'm playing uh, A Night in the Woods at the moment. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. know the uh, the band songs where you do the rhythm action Oh, that's game. so good. It is so good, but it's the same letters as the Xbox controller, oh. but they're all in different positions. Yeah. So oh, yeah, my muscle okay. memory and my brain is yeah. like, you should yeah. press these buttons now. That's and really I'm having frustrating to... as well because those songs are really good if you get them right. Yeah. And okay. I've, I've got like 95%. But I keep screwing up like one of them because I, mm. my brain doesn't work. Ugh. Okay, Warren from Life is Strange. Yes, tell uh, me. Personally, I don't like him. Uh, he's this for the uninitiated. Uh, he's this like character who's a he's a friend of um, of Max, the main character, mm-hmm. and he's kind of nerdy and kind of sweet, and he's definitely definitely sweet on Max. Oh, that guy. Oh. Yeah, I know the one you mean. But in a way that... Why doesn't she like me? <laughs> but I, yeah. I'm a nice guy. Oh dear, that, oh that, dear. Yeah. I do, he's, he, he, he does seem to be a genuinely nice guy. However, I am not a huge fan of that whole... Uh, like, yeah, that sort of trope in general. The idea that like just because he really likes her, she should like him yeah. yes. nice and stuff. I, so I, always, I, I didn't really trust him while uh, we were playing the game. Which yeah. in retrospect was possibly slightly unfair. But oh yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You brute. Put oh, wow, right wow. right trigger and B at some point to try and use your new spell. Oh. Hey, cool. Nice. Oh, they're running away. Woo! Yeah, you better run. I have never seen that spell before because I've never invested in that one it in cool, might. Didn't it? Uh, the one who snacks donates, thank you, and says, Hey, Andy and the Wonder Twins, if you had to swap bodies with someone on the team, Freaky Friday style, who would you choose? Mike. You have no health. So you could drive his car. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I died. Um, oh, I would yeah. say Andy, so I could know what it's like to have such a glorious beard. To have facial hair. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah. It gives you like a... A second warning if you're about to bang your face off something. Oh, that's good. Because it's like, <laughs> yeah, you can feel... Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, if you were walking down a corridor in the dark with your chin out, you'd be like, yeah. oh, I'm about to walk into and a wall. Like, oh, I'm about to... Ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do that. I'd probably... Yeah, Andy's hands are uh, busy solving logic puzzles yeah. and playing his... <laughs> I'd probably swap with Luke and use you the extra... Doing a terrible job. Use the extra two or three inches of height to go to a concert and look over everyone's head. Oh, yeah, it is pretty great. Mm. It is pretty brilliant. Uh, Luke. What? It doesn't auto save. <gasps> no. no. Oh boy. Well, I'm sure we can get back there pretty quickly. We Mistakes did a lot of. Made. We did a lot of yeah, futzing around. Side quests, yeah, if we just go for the main quest. We don't futz around so much <gasps> in the. Yeah. With the wolf man and everything. Yeah, because at the minute we're heading for the for the crates, right, aren't we? Right. I'm just gonna run. Uh, Brandon L donates run. generously. Thank you very much and says greetings all. Congrats on 500k. I love all you do, helping me through the good times and the bad, and I hope to make it out to London someday to meet you all. Much love from Colorado. Hello, P- Colorado. P.S. What game is this, Ellen? The music is nice. Who wrote it? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it was a man called Grant Kirko. <laughs> Not so much a man as a shining golden god. Musical god. <laughs> <laughs> Calliope the muse. <laughs> Excellent. If you've been playing uh, the new... Mario uh, turn-based battle, kingdom battle, Mario Rabbids. Rabbids. 
Uh, the music in that is written by the same bloke. And One of the reasons that it's good. Yeah. It's good music. One of is very good. And uh, yeah, because he's uh, used to work over at Rare, um, doing music for Banjo Kazooie and everything as well, and Donkey Kong and. He d wrote the Donkey Kong rap. The guy doing the yeah. music for this. I think I think we're possibly retreading old Grunko. <laughs> <laughs> <At this point, laughs> I think the question was asked in full knowledge of Grunko's work. I'm aware. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, Samantha Wilson uh, is by to say, I'm so glad I could catch your live stream. Well, live and on my last day in London as well. Thanks for everything you do. Little Merrill Wen emoji, little dog emoji. Oh. So, there you go. That's cool. I no. uh, uh, hope you had a nice time in London. No, um, you've had good weather for it. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Alec, da Alec Dives or Dives uh, mm. says, yay, currently fundraising to help pay medical costs for a street dog I rescued from Spain. <gasps> I couldn't ask for a better way to keep me cheery. Oh, that sounds oh great. Oh my gosh. Well, sounds like a, well, that sounds like an amazing way to uh, spend your money and time. Yeah, that's um, excellent. I hope the yeah. street dog gets better. Yeah, me too. Stephen Spradlin is wearing uh, their Oxford sh shirt at work to rep the brand. Yay. Love to you all and will watch when I leave work. Hashtag don't be a dob. Aww. Or, 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 or. Do or, be a dob. Do be a dob. Did we ever think about that? No. Did we ever consider <laughs> maybe being maybe. a dob? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Because I'd say being a dob gets a bad name, but what if you were a dob? Well, doesn't being a dob mean killing your friends with AOE spells? So, I mean, when you say it like that, it sounds bad. Yeah, it sounds bad. Amy Grace says, congrats on half a mil. You guys deserve it. Purple heart. Aw, thank you. JR says, Ellen validated my years long love of Kingdoms of Avalor with 80 plus hours. I didn't think anyone else knew or liked this game before she started talking about it. Nice. Well, if there's well. one thing we've learned, it's actually there are a whole lot of people who like Kingdoms of Amalur. Yeah, it turns yeah. out. It's a cult. It has certain cult-like qualities, yeah. certainly, I would say. I mean, there's also no autosave in a cult, <laughs> which is why you have to be really careful before you enter one. <laughs> uh, Caden Seal, or Sile, wants to know how each of us got into games media. Interesting. Oh, good question. Uh, do you go, want to go first, Andy? Uh, yeah, I... Uh, got a job Skipping. working for PlayStation.com, yeah. uh, the official PlayStation website, writing game news updates on there. And then I moved over to Microsoft and I was doing Inside Xbox, which was just text at the time. So I was just writing stuff for that. And then they made it a video service and I sort of had to learn how to do video while making video. Uh, yeah, it wasn't really, what you, it probably wasn't a traditional route in. But, it, but that's the thing, I feel yeah. like there aren't really any traditional routes into uh, this this job because it's a very new one yeah all games media not just the sort of video side uh, how about you Alan um what was the question I was skipping through all this stuff how did you get into games media uh YouTube videos <laughs> I just I just that made seems YouTube like a videos. decent that seems like a decent route <laughs> so yeah. uh, and I was um I also like Andy started out uh doing written stuff and it was all about tech I worked in consumer tech I was a consumer tech journalist and I did consumer tech video for a website called CNET uh, and that's where I met Jane, um, who uh, worked for the same parent company. She worked at GameSpot at the time. It was a sister company, so we shared an office. Uh, yeah, and um, uh, yeah, that's how I got to know her. And so when they wanted to recruit some more people to the channel, yeah, that's how she knew that I was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're nearly back to the point where we were when I died. Mm-hmm. We've got uh, people like Kinslayer7 in the comments um, who says, greetings from India. Sorry, I couldn't donate. You don't have to donate. It's absolutely yeah, fine. Yeah. Just yeah. to stop by. We've got a lot of comments from people who have donated, so we need to get through those and Go. Yeah. say yeah. hi yeah. to those people. Through. But I am also checking the chat and I'm seeing everything you're saying. I just don't have super loads of time to reply to all of them, but we really appreciate everything you're, you're putting in there. Yes. Love you all. Here are the hugs. And as I always say, it's time for work, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rebecca Jones is here saying, congratulations on 500k subscribers. I was subscriber number four back on your first day. Whoa, no way. Whoa, number four. Wow, that is awesome. That's probably before Outside Xbox subscribed oh to yeah, <laughs> Outside Xbox. I was, was going to say, my immediate thought there was like, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> was not everyone who works no, here subscribed? Apparently not. Yeah, they got in before <laughs> most of us. Uh, it's great to see how well Oxer has done in such a short time. Hopefully this will be enough to buy you all a drink at London prices. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Yes, Appreciate thank it. You. Cheers. Mm. Let's just get some of that nice ice movement on yeah. the microphone for that uh, on a hot summer's oh. day. Lovely. Sorry for those of you for whom it's first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Norson says, congratulations on the milestone. It's always nice to see Ellen so happy. Hope you have fun. Question for Luke. 
What do you consider your kingdoms of Amalur? Oh, man. Um, uh, so, I mean, how would you define a kingdoms of Amalur? Would, do you mean like a game? Like that... a game that you think is good and everyone else is like, oh, you're always going on about that game. And you're like, no, you should play it. It's good. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always talking about that. Uh, man. Life is strange. <laughs> but I know, but I feel like life is strange yeah, has that sort of mainstream acceptance. One like a bafter and stuff, and Yeah, and also um, Jane also plays it. Yeah, so yeah, one, you've got one, one other, other person um, on the team who I can talk Jane to Jane also it. played Night in the Woods, so you were both able to be like, oh my yeah. God, it's so good. And it's on my to playlist. I, well. I go on and on and on about um, it right now, so uh, F-Zero X. You uh, do. And the F-Zero yeah. games. I, man, I just love them. I wish that they were like still a thing in modern gaming. Mm -hmm. Um Man, play F play play F Zero X, people. It's the best racing game ever. And people don't understand. <laughs> uh, Spiel Builder says, "Congrats on 500k, well deserved." Thank you very much. That's well, very kind. Everyone's much. being thank so you. nice and kind. Thank you. Yay! Uh, don't sound so suspicious, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's <laughs> your angle? Where's the hateful people? invective? <laughs> Uh, Marcus Rose is another one says, Hey guys, congrats on 500k. Every single one well deserved. You're distracting me from my uni work, but hey, who needs a degree when you could watch Ellen absolutely beast mode on KOA? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that could be your PhD. Yeah. PhD in Ellen beast moding. Yeah. Oh, your look at that. Dissertation. Have some of that, you big spiders. We've got a new channel member, Kirsty Strouts McCallion. Thank you very much, Kirsty. Thank you. Thank you, Kirsty. Oh, man, it's, it's been a good week for Carl Obsidian. Yeah. They say, last week I passed my med school exams for the year. This week I've achieved my target weight loss at the gym. No Oxtra way. streams seem to be the common thread. Heart, you guys. Aww. Good. Man, med school exams. That's going to yeah. be tough. Uh, yeah, that is tough. And so is hitting target weight. Yeah. But it sounds like you're absolutely smashing it. Good job. Uh, <laughs> great, great job on smashing your life. Well oh. done. Caden Sile is back saying it's pronounced Sile. I've never had a teacher say it right, so don't feel bad. Good job, Andy. <laughs> oh. okay. um, I've never done reckoning mode on a spider before, so that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, are you cured now? No. Oh. <laughs> if only. K KOA cured my arachnophobia. <laughs> <laughs> you could do a story for one of those um, like uh, trashy weekly magazines. Oh, you know? yeah. Kingdoms of Amalur cured my arachnophobia. <laughs> uh, Alice Lean Cook says, great work, guys. Hello from cold Australia very early in the morning. Oh, yes. hello, cold Australia. Winter down there, isn't it? In oh, my yeah. mind, cold Australia is a separate like, <laughs> continent separate Australia. To, from Australia. They're next to each other. Yeah. And they have a bridge that joins yeah, them. Yeah, and one is cold. Yeah. Oh, and there's, like, a, there's like a winter coat shop okay. in the middle of the bridge. Yeah, it's like mirror, <laughs> mirror universe. <laughs> yeah. um, Anna Marie Van Pier says, My now practically girlfriend told me I reminded her of Ellen the first time we met. Biggest compliment. Clearly, she's a keeper. Aww. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Ellen, you're now at the point where I was when I fouled everything up. <laughs> Garik Bol Singh says, congrats, love you all. Ellen, Luke, Mike, Jane, and Johnny. Uh, you are all yeah. great. Jane no Andy in there, but I assume... <laughs> <I'm doing good. laughs> that's, that's fine. Ellen, uh, Mike, Luke, Jane, Johnny. Jane and Johnny. You're you're all, Johnny isn't even on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's great. <laughs> I, think, I think people just take it as red that Andy's great. <laughs> I uh, certainly do. I have a question though. How did you get through your final year of high school? Any tips and what kind of student were you? Oh, um, okay. Uh, I was an indifferent student, I think, um, uh, skills wise. I sort of had uh, middling uh, grades uh, through most of school. Um, I didn't find school unenjoyable, but I also didn't really like it. I definitely like not being in school more than I enjoyed being in school. Um, so yeah, I would say if you're not having a great time, then uh, do hang on in there because um, adult life is uh, a lot of fun and uh, yeah, it can be great. And um, yeah, so yeah, hang on in there if you're not having a great time at school is what yeah. I'd say. Yeah. What kind uh, of student were you, Ellen? I was a Hermione, but I also liked video games. So like <laughs> I worked hard enough to get the grades that I needed, but then also played a lot of RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, um, I wasn't one of the cool kids. Let's just say that. Um, so yeah, if you're not having, I didn't have an amazing time at school, so don't worry. Uh, Michael Winters would like to let us know that they're actually a cat in a Michael costume. Oh, okay, cool. Just, yeah, oh, good that's know. good. I'll make I a note. I'll, I'm updating my records as we speak. And Brock Sisson says, I'm guessing this is Christmas in August for Ellen. Congrats from down under on 500k. Yes. Couldn't happen to nicer folks. Oh, thank you. 
Uh, Lynn Swanborn Yount says, My husband Doug is at work and can't watch the stream. Shout out for when he watches later. Without... Shout out to Doug. Woo! Hey, Hi, Doug. Doug. I right. uh, hope you had a nice time at work. Went good. Uh, without Jane there, I can safely say Andy's his favourites. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Whee! We're still here, Doug. I like this, Doug. <laughs> this Doug knows what's up. Julian Rossi says, I'm delighted to have Philosophy and Amala for a rainy Friday morning. Congrats on 500k. Hey, Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, tell me more about the Philosophy. Yeah, want to hear about it. Yeah. And uh, he, Brewhammer86, is a new channel member. Welcome along. Thank you for joining. Um, these brutes have rather a lot, a lot of... Uh... Oh, he's got two heads. Didn't even notice. Oh, yeah. Ellery J is a librarian Ooh. and approved the linguistic dissection from earlier from the Time for Work. Good. Boys. Nice. And says... Time for work, boys. Well, they say good work, boys. Good, so. yeah. good, good yeah. work, boys. That's good. Good work, boys. Oh, no. They Peanut Butter good. Cups has had back-to-back -back meetings this morning and a horrible migraine, no! but is glad they're getting to see the start of the stream. Have a great hey, weekend. That sounds like a, a terrible combo. I hope things are looking up now, though. Migraines are really yeah. nasty. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had one. Oh, they're horrible. They're really not, not fun. Mm. Not enjoyable. Uh, Castaway DC says, well done for 500k. Ellen's la laugh is the light of my life and Luke's teas are great. P.S. Yeah. Andy's booze are justified. Love you all. We'll see you in <laughs> Egypt. They are not justified. <laughs> They are pretty much always justified. Oh, Zelen's been by. Hi, Zelen. Saying, Hello, Zelen. hey, guys, happy Friday and congrats on the thing you do. Quick question. Is Meryl Wen an arachnophobe as well? Can't wait to meet you all at EGX. Cheers. Oh, I don't know yet. Have we haven't encountered, <laughs> any, we haven't encountered any spiders, have we? No, uh, exactly. Maybe Meryl Wen has never seen a spider. She lived in the woods, though. They get spiders in the woods. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's decide now, Ellen. I mean, it's your it's your canon. You can, you can decide. Mm. <laughs> She doesn't like them, no. I okay. don't think so. Okay. Because I don't I don't want to risk yeah. uh, her coming into contact with one and then people drawing fan art of a spider that I'll never be able to look at. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the what mechanical spider. Yeah, yeah, that's was true. That, he was like a beetle. beetle. Yeah, but oh, it looked I'm like fine a spider. with bugs. What if uh, the Beatles next don't like spiders. skill Meryl Wen learns is turning into a spider? Mm. Or the that's ability to summon a swarm of spiders. I, yeah. have, I have a in friend. Yeah, and mouth. <laughs> I have a friend who is a druid as well in their um, playthrough, and uh, they turn into a spider, and it's very useful. Okay. What was the? Um, <gasps> it was Diablo three, wasn't it? Where there was a like a witch doctor class based around throwing jars of spiders at people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that yeah, was yeah. why I couldn't really play. Woo! Um, I was sitting at an outdoor Della. cafe the other day doing some work, yep. and I felt something on my neck, and I sort of brushed it off. And it fell onto the floor and scuttled off, and it was a big spider. And it was the worst thing that's happened to my neck in ages. So you just burned the place down, I assume? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, I didn't freak out more because I didn't know it was a spider until it was off me. Okay. Was, uh, yeah. The other day, I was in a um, bathroom around someone's house, and uh, I was just washing my hands, as casual as you like. Casual. And yeah. then I looked over at the bath. And there was an enormous spider in the bath. Like, honestly, it was like... Size of a dinner like plate. Size, size of a dinner plate, it was, radius-wise. It turned and, and hissed at you. Yeah. <laughs> and it spoke to me in its tongue. Uh, yeah, it sang me the song of its people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, yeah, it really made me jump because it didn't even move. I just, you know, when you just like, your eyes just alight on them. Did you inform your host? No. I you also, you let them discover it later? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I left them to deal with it. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah I just left. I just fled the house. <laughs> I didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> didn't no get warning. my bag, I just left. Oh, no, I just left. Oh, well dodged, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot him four times in the loincloth. Yep. Oh, Whoa. hello. Your future's, Your future's running, is running out, running boys. Out. All right. Oh, I'm glad that one didn't hang around. Uh, Mr. Flapper says, congrats on the 500k. Been with you since day one. You always make me laugh when I need it. P.S. You guys are orcasome. Don't stop with the puns. We won't. I don't think we could if we tried. Boo. It's more of an instinct now. Boo. Have some of that, you wolf. And okay, so Ellen, we're here at the ruins of... Um, Amala. Delok. Delok. We're at the Theatre of Fate. Oh, okay. But it's full of brutes, unfortunately. Yeah. Which is why the brutes are all getting smashed up. 
Oh, I can level up. Right, oh, I'll cool. unlock okay. those things again for things. you. So which one was Not it? Picking. Giving you some sort of idea about how far behind on these comments we are. Brad Van Lunen says, multi-layered metatextual narrative. Thought I was here for video games, not an English lesson. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can enjoy the video games and learn yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, um, As Mario is missing, so ably proved. Will Sawyer says, I finished Life is Strange last week and I've almost finished Before the Storm. I didn't expect to enjoy them so much. So thank you, Luke, for saying good things about them. Bay over bay all the way. Yay! Uh, can I ask how it's spelled? <laughs> you can, you can ask. <laughs> how is it spelled? I was going to tell you. And he's teasing me. Okay, well... It's B-A-E B -A -E over B-A-Y. Bay over bay! Uh, awesome, cool. Um, uh, yeah, I'm really glad you enjoyed it uh, and, and that you made such a, a solid choice at the end as well. Uh, some love from Canada here from Jonathan Evans, who says, Love you guys and your channel, one of my favourites. Congrats and much love from Canada. Hello, Canada. Hi, Canada. Hello. Hello. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. What do you like? Uh, Nick Nick is here rascals. from Australia. Hello, Australia. Have a thing for making my life better. So happy you're finally giving Kingdoms of Amateur the credit it deserves. <laughs> Firmly in Camp Ellen. I wonder if that's an autocorrect. It's probably an autocorrect, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, could t I can tell that it got Ellen Tackles up, though. <laughs> Uh, Devin Hauser says, hi from the Navy. Hello to Hello. the Navy. I love this game and I love watching you guys. Aww. Thank you very much, Devin. Keep watching. Hope it's all going good in the Navy. Yeah, yeah. in the Navy. Sorry about uh, that. Victor Mark says, congrats on 500k subs. My sister gave me a gift card to GameStop for my birthday yesterday. What game slash toys slash shirts slash Pokemon plushes should I buy? I'm 22. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, um, uh, I've got a plush Poplio from Pokemon, and That's um, good, yeah. I think that Poplio is the best starter Pokemon in Sun and Moon uh, because it's a seal and a clown, so you know you're really winning on two fronts. Yeah, there, so. it's not a cool owl, though, is it? Who wants a cool owl when you can have a clown seal? <laughs> I, t I told you, it's a seal and a clown. You're like, oh, uh, swim around and catch me some fish. And Popular's like, can do. Also, would you like me to be really entertaining? I'll do some do hilarious some, japery. Yeah, do some tumbling and some capers. Yes, some please. business. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, I'd recommend getting Night in the Woods. It's, if you haven't played it, it's on the Switch. Oh. It's like £15. It's really good. Oh, yeah, of course it's on the Switch now. Yeah, I've been playing it on the Switch. Ooh. And it's, like I say, the only thing is the confusing button layout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which screws what, though, up all my bass. Because, like, I, I mean, I didn't even have that button confusion and I still screwed up a bunch of those songs. But if you look them up on YouTube, they are such good tunes. They are. I like just them. like a little throwaway mini game. They're such good songs. Man, I love that game. It's so... Oh, we've got to be careful. So, so much drama. So much brooding. Angsty drama. Oh man, I just had the bit where you go for dinner with B and her dad. Man. I made a really good dinner though. Yeah, okay, like, well. Yeah. Yeah, pork chops with like shake and bake, it was really good. Ooh. I mean it's it's gotta be good, really. But the end the drama. Oh, hey, look, the at, drama. look at the lovely uh Ooh. decorations here. Now this is oh, we're no. in the theatre of fate. Oh lovely. We're here to see a show. Um, <laughs> a fateful show. Uh, Sam Schersel says, hello from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Love this game and love you all. Thanks for doing all you do. Congrats. Oh, thank, thank you, very, you much. very much. Milwaukee's nice. I went there. They've got a bronze statue of the Funs. Oh, cool. I also did the Pabst Brewery tour, which was um, hilariously ramshackle. <laughs> and I would recommend. Um, I did the, uh, the Camden Brewery tour recently. Oh, and it was also adorably uh, ramshackle. Nice. Um, yeah. Tours of smaller breweries. I guess maybe that's a, that's, that's a thing. Yeah. But you get like a slightly, you get a sort of less... Uh, um, uh, like scripted, like manicured experience. I kind of like yeah. it. Yeah. Well, the also, we got more beer than I think we were supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I think the guy who was leading the tour felt bad that he kept forgetting the fact. <laughs> <laughs> the Pabst one, we had like a little. Uh, it was like literally three of us, and it had like an introductory talk. And he was like, "I'm going to ask you questions about Pabst, and yeah. everyone you get right, I'll give you a pint of Pabst Blue Ribbon." What? And okay. it was all like questions about American history so by the before we'd left the <laughs> orientation room yeah. I'd had four pints of Pabs Blue Ribbon complete this name yeah. Abraham Lynn yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so you know I was in a very good mood for that <laughs> awesome uh, Mr. Stephen Lloyd says congrats guys I love you and Oxbox your cheery and genuine nature never fails to put me in a good mood can see you hitting one million in no time <gasps> imagine that wow wow then Imagine. we'd only be four million short of the people we need to play Kingdoms of Amalur again. Hey, Caitlin RC's here. Hi, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. 
Can't imagine OX without you guys. The community wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks for all the love you give to us and amazing content. Oh, Caitlin, the community wouldn't be the same without you. Ah, all ev like we've got such a lovely, so many nice people in the community. Yeah. People like Caitlin and Nobby yeah. and everyone is so good. Fine, upstanding citizen, OX citizens. Oh, um, somebody asked me the other day, like, what's the collective name for your fans? Oh. Now, I don't believe that we should get to choose this. No. No. Um, because, you know, like, I, I don't think that you're like, you're a Swifty, aren't you, if you're a Taylor Swift fan? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that Taylor Swift wasn't like, you're all Swifties. You're all Swifties. <laughs> all Swifties. For all I know, maybe she was. I don't know if, you know, like, Lady Gaga fans are, like, called Little Monsters. Or well, when it was just us, we were, I think, Oxboxes or something. Oxboxes is good. Yeah, but it's, that does, that's only outside Xbox, so we need one for, like, the whole Oxbox tour. Yeah, yeah. So if you've got any suggestions... Yeah, food for thought. Food for thought. Put them in the comments. Uh, Josh Blanchard says, Ellen, you got me into this game. I have a question, though. What are games you want to like but just can't? Oh, man, that's such a good question. Um, yeah. I wanted to like The Saboteur, but I couldn't because the uh, voice acting was awful. Um, or just, just the accents. Yep. Good answer. Oh, um, for me, it's Final Fantasy games. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I just, uh, yeah, I know. I know that they're good. I know they must be good. I don't think that people are wrong to like them, but, um, yeah. Turn, it's like most J JRPGs in general. Yeah, turn-based stuff. I just can't get behind it. I have tried several times. I'm still playing Octopath Traveler uh, and enjoying it, but um, I don't feel like I'm enjoying it as much as I should be comp compared with how good I can kind of tell it Ooh. is, if that makes any sense at all. Oh, great sword. Nice. You've got a great sword. Must be great. Random username for Chris asks, what questions would you like to ask of your audience? She's on the other foot. Well, what oh. they should be called, for a start. Yeah, yeah, for that. starters. Yeah. Um, Whoa. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. That's, it. that's enormous. Oh. That's bigger than you. That's ta literally taller than you. I bet that's going to be really slow, but I, I kind of want to see it in action for a little bit. Yes, it's got quite good reach. Yes, Orca. You don't have like a stamina bar or anything, do you? Nope. Great. Ah, so go, yeah, go for go it. Crazy. Go nuts. Uh, questions we would questions we would ask of our. Uh, why, why do you like the YouTube channels? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, what kind of videos do you like the most? Yeah. What kind of? Yeah. I think that's the thing actually. Like what? Because there are definitely videos that that we make that I like the most, but I know that they are not always the ones that like get the most views yeah um why are none of you oh, watching my excellent fishies. overwatch league coverage <laughs> it's good it's a good um, question so yeah i suppose yeah that'd be the question like what what are the kinds of videos you like like what's the genre like uh, we know that the lists are, are successful um but uh, you know like of the, of the other stuff we do what would you like to see more of um I've, I've kind of sometimes I feel like if I had my way it would just be D&D &D and we would live as our characters because I love doing D&D &D so much mm -hmm. um, but I know that some of the other stuff we do is also oh liked, that's so. great so it's too slow <laughs> but yeah I think we'll be doing more D&D &D soon so fingers crossed not live I mean, no, there is the live show. I wanted this to be a surprise when it first appeared on camera. I'm just going to tell you now because I can't wait. Okay. Uh, I may have tracked down a slightly like freaky looking mandolin ukulele thing on eBay. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. How is it? How is it strung? Like a ukulele or? Uh, so apparently, so the, the the seller's description was a, a little peculiar. Right. Uh, they said it could be restrung as a ukulele. So, so just me, like four to, strings. Yeah. To me, it looks like it's already strung like a, a ukulele. Unless it's a four-string mandolin, but they're quite rare, so yeah. I, I don't really know. But I'm I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it and trying to figure it out. I, I decided the other day uh, as a character thing that Corazon plays the banjo, so good. I think maybe we should collaborate. Pirates play the banjo. Yeah, yeah. In um, Monkey. Yeah, in Monkey Island and in Pirates in, of the Caribbean. Yeah, when you start yeah. the ride, you go through that bayou and there's the banjo exactly, playing. Exactly. So we could like yeah collaborate. All right, on the let song. me re let me restring this one. Figure out how to play it properly. And we get a little we'll, duet. Yeah, yeah, we'll get yeah. a duet going. Cool. Like, turn Thunderwave into, Thunder into a wave. Full, full anthem. I love it. All right. Harmonies. Nice. Um, Kathy Ed says, do flamingos accept American recruits? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, um, it's it's advisable if you're in the flamingos never to reveal too much personal information because, uh, you know, you're trying to fly below the radar. <laughs> um, but yes, of course, all are welcome. All are welcome. Got a new channel member, Joseph Sage. Thank you very much, hey, Joseph. Thank, thank you. you. And Beth Bloomer says, congrats, guys. Actually hey, cannot man. wait until EGX. Wish I could time travel and get there sooner. 
If you could time travel, where would you go? EGX. EGX. Yeah, I want to be playing D&D. &D. <laughs> actually, yeah. I want to be at the showdown of the week because it's going to be a good one this yeah. year, the showdown of the week. Yeah. If you haven't, if you are going to be at EGX on Friday and you haven't got a ticket for the showdown of the week, get one because it's going to be excellent. I'm yes. doing, I'm doing the quiz. I'm it's the awesome. I've there got are, some stuff in store for these guys. There are still some tickets available, but we anticipate that it will sell out. So do uh, do grab those tickets, mm. peeps. Uh, it's going to be hella fun. As Boom, kids, as Shakalaka kids is here, saying, I see now why Ellen loves this game. Short people in a quasi-Scottish town, reminiscent of her time at uni, perhaps. <laughs> so. does, it, does it bring back? No, because that was the worst Scottish accent. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kirsty Strauss McCallion says, "Congrats on 500k. You've been going through a tough time, and your videos have really helped me." Oh, so, sorry, you've been going through a tough time. Yeah, happy, happy to help. To help. Yeah, I hope you are going through better times soon. Yeah. Uh, Nick Carter says, "Congrats on 500,000 subs, you wonderful people. I remember watching your first video, Dragon Quest Builders, and yeah. all yeah. since." So many fresh memes. What is Luke's Kingdoms of Amalur? Oh, we've already answered Talked that question, that, yeah. in fact. Yeah. X -Zero X. Uh, also, too sweet, Andy. We'll do a, too sweet. Ellen's busy, so we'll. There we go. There we go. Oh, go. Right oh, quick. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Ellen oh, hey, Nobby sweet. is back. Hi, hey, Nobby. Uh, Nobby does excellent animations, and you should check out her the, YouTube the channel. The most recent one is. A gosh darn triumph. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we retweeted it from our Twitter, so if you yeah. want to check it out, just go there and check it out. Uh, hey, you're also happy to see Orca and so proud of Oxtra. Still shocked Yay! my animatic coincidentally, coincidentally went up on the same day, but I'm really happy about the coincidence. Give yourselves a high five for me. So it's, <laughs> three way high five doesn't yeah. make any sound. That sort of worked. It's just like, this is three hands make, forming a triangle. Oh, and Nobby was on um, Twitter uh, wondering what the expression made up meant because we said that James was made up. Because we showed James, oh, right. we showed okay, James yeah, the, yeah, okay. the animatic where it's oh, got a bit of James right, in yes. it. Yeah. And he was, uh, he was delighted. He meant, it yeah. means delighted. He was I, delighted with it. I said another one could be over the moon. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, well, so yeah, so made up is, it's a. Britishism, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, that just means uh, excited, happy, overjoyed. Uh, I don't know where it comes from. Yeah, me either. But he was, yeah. he was, he was genuinely very pleased. Yeah. But I'd be like, oh, my football team won at the weekend. I was I'm, made up. I was made. I was made up. Uh, but yeah, he got the link so he could show all his friends yeah. that he we, was in an animation. We weren't saying that James was made up, as in he's he a, James is real. He's fictional. very real. James is very real. So stop. I asking. mean, too real. Sometimes. Stop asking. Yeah. yeah. Too real. I so mean, yeah. he just gets in your face and gets yeah. all real. He's James is too real. It's just yeah. Sometimes we can't handle James's realness. That's true. Matthew Eidson says, "Ellen, I think I owe you an apology. This game is great, and I will be getting it ASAP." P.S. Love you all, especially my favourite Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, Adam says this is uncanny as my new D and D character is also a wolf turned into a human. What? Right, I love well, the concept of animals becoming humans and yes. then sort of trying to understand. You yeah. read um. I forget which Terry Pratchett book it is. It might It's the one with the opera in it where uh, oh. Nanny Og's cat becomes a human. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, I yeah. find it just quite an interesting concept. Yes. Like human humans um, that were once animals. Well, your character sounds really awesome. I hope they're a little bit more polite, though, than the, um, than the, than wolf, that than the wolf human bloody that we met. Wolf, yeah. wolf and his well, yeah. honestly. Uh, they call humans two legs. Sounds mean. Yeah, it's rude. Uh, Anthony Collinson says, Hey guys, glad to see Ellen's feeling better. How did you all come up with your D&D characters and what drew you to the classes you chose? Oh, uh, good question. Do you want to go first, Andy? Uh, yeah. Um, I just I really like pirates and I wanted to play a stealthy character because that's usually how I play video games. So Rogue seems to be the best choice for that. And Human because uh, I was sort of imagining like quite a, a vain sort of stupid pirate <laughs> and I thought it would, wouldn't be as funny if he was like a cool fantasy race yeah, so I'm yeah, imagining yeah. him sort of palling around with all these amazing wizards and warlocks and dragons and he's just like he thinks he's the best one yeah yeah because yeah. uh, he's got an amazing coat and hat and, yeah but uh, he does have an amazing coat and hat. he does have an amazing so coat and hat in a very real way he is um, winning but yeah no and I had a good time like writing the backstory and it was quite hard not to reveal any of that for the entire first session. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ellen, do you want to go while there's no fight going on? Um, I like elves. I think they're cool. I like the whole fact that they're mixed in with nature and I wanted to do a character that could do a bit of magic um, that was not only useful in combat but also in other weird situations. So the idea of changing into a wild animal 
looked quite fun to me. So I meant I could be a cat. <laughs> and it has proved very fun. <laughs> it has. It's been really fun and really useful. I was like, not only are cats adorable, but they're like a good size to get into smaller spaces that yep. we can't. What about you? Uh, I chose, uh, I picked Dob because I really like orcs. I don't know why. Of all the fantasy races, I've always been uh, drawn to orcs. I think it might be like a World of Warcraft uh, kind of uh, hang-up thing I have. I just think they're really cool. Uh, I, I like the thought of being of orcs as being kind of like noble and sort of misunderstood a little bit. And also, so I, yeah, so I sort of settled first on orc, I remember. And then I was reading, uh, there's like a D&D character creator helper guide thing. And it was like, orcs are often uh, or like solitary, or if you choose a half orc, because Dobbins is a half orc, it's like, there's probably like a reason that, that they're not welcome amongst humans or orcs. So like, have a think about that. And so, yeah, so that's how I got the idea of them um, like living him Dob having grown up like alone in the woods with his sister. I like the idea of him being like a like a survival unit. Dob hasn't had to do much. <laughs> absolute like, unit. Absolute survival. Yeah. Dob hasn't had to do any like survival <laughs> in the woods, but that was actually like a character starting point. I was like, I want him to like basically live yeah. in the woods, and he's always happiest like in the hills, and he doesn't really like being in taverns and stuff. So in my sort of head canon, he's not actually all that used to people, even though he plies his trade as an entertainer. Nice. This kid's compelling and rich. Yeah. So yeah. the answer is we thought about it loads and loads and loads. <laughs> really. so it's the most fun, actually. It's really fun. Yeah. 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 I was just laughing in the middle of that because I caught sight of a comment from Evan Versa that included the phrase funky mems too fresh. <laughs> 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 Oh boy! <laughs> All right. This live stream has been such a gift. <laughs> uh, funky uh. Mems too fresh <laughs> is going straight in my everyday use, and so is um, so is um, it's uh, time to work, boys. So time, time to work. To work. Well, yeah. Luke, it's time to work uh, on leveling up. Should we go for lock the picking. full full yeah. lockpick? Lockpick. Commit to the bit. We're lockpickers. That's yeah. what we do. I am going to suggest that, and then. We can go further up. So the sphere of protection or conservative. I think, yeah. So we're going to do that and that. So we're going to go into some sorcery. Okay. I think passive abilities. I like the sound of that. Um, so that's a passive, yeah. So conservative casting means that you use less mana when you're cool, shooting cool, 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 stuff. Cool. And, and it, what's the other yeah. one doing that you want? And that one is a fire spell. Hey, you good. Good, good, good. Shoot fire at someone. And then it kind of like marks them. They burn a little bit, and then you go. Nice. Sounds good. Good. Awesome. It's good. It's my favourite. Let's do it. And uh, see now because we've got two that are very similar. In I'm being all like nerdy now because <laughs> we've got two that uh, in we've got sorcery and might equal at the moment. So we can stay as brawler, cool. or we can be a guardian. Uh, engage in melee and convert any force used against you into your own magical energy. You are naturally so. resistant to harmful spells and transmute a portion of damage. I mean, that sounds good, but I, I'm struggling. How does it compare with Brawler? What are the pros and cons? So you've got... Um, Let's be a guardian. It looks good. Yeah, so you can, you've got melee All attack damage and block efficiency. Yeah, um, let's do it. And you gain... Yeah? Let's do it. Try that. Not overthink it. We're guardians now. And you can change your... Look! Look! Look, some, some of this, summer. some of that. There we go. Got you a Chivo, Luke. Good. Uh, Muggle One Zero says, congrats on 500k. I met you guys at EGX and you were all lovely. Oh, good. Uh, how have you been surviving the heat? I'm currently melting. It's actually nicely air conditioned here in yes. server. Uh, we've been coming, we've been living in server mostly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I sleep in a beer barrel. Uh, just curl up in there. I, I travelled here today on the central line to Shepherd's Bush, which is the hottest, horrible. least air-conditioned tube line in London. But I had a water bottle that I froze in the freezer nice. overnight, and I was just cuddling that the whole way. <laughs> Survival tip. And I've it was told, amazing. I've been told that if you fill a water bottle uh, and like pop it in the fridge or the freezer or something like an hour before you go to bed, and then you can just have like a cold water what? bottle. It's just... It sounds Where nice. is he? Sorry. Oh, a war priest. Ah! Oh, use, use your new spell. Tag him for fire spells. Oh, gosh, he's strong. All right, so A, so you mark him. So he's marked. And marked then you go. And now blow him up. Uh, 
Oh, hang on, I've got to make sure I'm doing it. It's been a while. So he's that little spinny thing around his head, must be in his marks, right? Yeah. And then you hold it to detonate or whatever? Oh, I'm trying to think which one it is now. It definitely said hold. I can't remember what I have to hold now, it's been a while. Oh. The same button? Same button for tagging them? Uh, wasn't it A on the bottom? Yeah, 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 I'm pressing A. Oh, but if you hold it. I'm pressing and holding it. Oh. Mm, weird. Have you saved recently, by the way? Uh, no, oh, yeah, good save. Call. I can't save right now. Oh, we can't save. But I have, we'll I have, we'll I've saved, I've saved halfway through this room. Cool. Uh, Moose, here we go. This is it. Just have a look through. See, it's uh, nice and useful. You've got so many different things that you can use. So many moves. Uh, Taylor Sweeney says, congrats, guys. First live stream I've managed to stay awake for down in Oz. So glad I get to start my birthday off right by watching you guys. Happy birthday, Woo! Taylor. Happy birthday. Oh, cool. Hope you have a good one. Yeah. Um, Commander birthday. Janeway says, Luke, do Flamingo agents get activated like the Division? Or are they just <laughs> sleeper agents? Uh, you'll know. <laughs> when it happens. You'll know. Uh, Tara England says, sneaking a quick peek while at work. I'd restart Kingdoms of Avalor, but I'd never finish it before Shenmue 1 and 2 HD is released. And then that emoji that's like a cone with confetti coming out of it. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, have a great day, guys. Thumbs up, uh, confetti cone. Thumbs up, confetti cone. So, yep, Shenmue 1 and 2. A lot of walking around <laughs> to look forward to. A lot uh, of lucky hit. Who you wants to play yeah. some lucky hit? Are you going to play the remastered? Going to play the HD? What do you think? No. Uh, Andy Space says no. Cool. No worries. I'd have to go through the whole bit at the start again when I've got to play Lucky Hit for like three days to make money. Oh, Ellen, don't do it. Don't oh, do it. Oh, right in the. Oh, you oh. did it. Oh. All of his guts. He won't be happy with that. <laughs> he won't be happy with that. He won't, he won't be happy with that. Uh, Reckless Rex says, Hey, Raw, lol, didn't I just see you last week? Well, I can't, still can't stay because I still work every Friday. Oh, well, congrats again, guys. Proud to be one of 500k. Keep up the great work. Yay. So, yeah, this is a rare back-to-back -back weeks of streaming. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. We normally do every other fortnight, but it's a special occasion. Yeah. Um, yeah, see. So what did we just do? We just changed fate. Good. Right? Because uh, oh, this, this guy, guy said, This bloody oh, guy. This is where my journey ends with you. And he was like, I won't be able to go with you any further. And at first I thought, hey, hang on, wait. What no, if I changed fate? Why are you just, why are you leaving me? And it's because he was supposed to die at the hands of that Etin. And uh, we stopped him. it. Should oh. have let him, he's a, he's Should a we jerk. kill him then? Yeah, let's keep fate on track. <laughs> 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 just bash him with a rock. Tell us. That's quite the angle on that, Etin. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> maybe they weren't thinking we would kill him just there. <laughs> um, got a new uh, channel member, Eric Esquivel. So, Hello, Eric. welcome. Welcome along. Thank you. Uh, and Caden Sile is back saying, Hi from Washington. Does Ellen still go to Summer in the City? Yeah, I'm going next weekend, actually. I'm going to be on a few panels talking about video games and being a creator online in general. Um, and I like things with panels and you can share info with people. So it's good. Cool. Valkyrie Yuppie says, Andy, wearing your Spitfries shirt in the shower doesn't count as washing it. Uh, incorrect. It does fully count as washing it. And... I'm sorry, Andy. Um, we're going to need a boo from you in a second. Because uh, I said, said I really... things with panels. I really I like... This whole room is panelled. Magnificently and opulently. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Guts like a knife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, this uh, Spitfire shirt is extremely clean. Thank you for asking about it. Uh, <laughs> on the same topic, Commander Janeway says, Andy, Philly shall have our revenge. Oh. Well, you've got an army, but we have a prophet. Whoa! So, Prof, did he see yeah, that? Pew, pew. Did he see his five kill? Yes, as you, you showed, his, showed it, it to us many times. Oh, not the Hanzo <laughs> one. The, the Tracer oh, one on Volskaya. It was, no, I've not mm. seen that one. If you haven't showed it to me, then I haven't, I haven't seen it. Well, everyone look up Prophet's five kill Volskaya moment. In another tap. And then, no, buy an air horn and then watch it. Because you're going to need that <laughs> and, air horn. And get ready with the air horn yeah. and then watch it. Uh, Zach Marrow says would love to see a return of Horson in Red Dead 2 well good news I went and pre-ordered Red Dead 2 the other day because as a pre-order bonus you get the War Horse and I was like I, I War need War Horson yeah it's, well it's going to yeah. be Horson Senior because it's a oh, oh yeah, it's course. a prequel Aww. so I went and pre-ordered the game specifically so I could get 
Horson Senior. So it's don't worry, there's going to be another Horson. I didn't, I didn't mean to... The only thing with sprint and talk to people and interact with everything being on the same button is oh, occasionally... Yeah, <laughs> okay, so we changed fate, which is good. Yeah. And I'm, now just gonna, <laughs> I'm just getting some free stuff. Oh, Edelweiss. Well, Josh Veller says, Ellen, that finisher, Edelweiss. Jane has taught her well. Yeah. So pretty savage. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're going to enjoy oh, um, the first sentence in this comment, Luke, yes. from uh, Hebrew Hammer 86. I'm ready. I think we can all agree that Westworld is one of the best shows on TV. <laughs> I don't dislike Westworld. I just don't like it very much. I just I started don't... watching season two. I watched the first episode. I've w- also watched the first and episode. And I'm, I'm slightly two. worried it's going to be bad because I, I like all the sort of cow... Made, I mean, you made it through season one. Yeah, but I like all the cowboy theme park and the philosophical musings on consciousness. And now yeah. it seems like they're sort of going to move away from all that. Seems like it's going to move away from that towards things happening with the robots yeah. yeah yeah and i feel like i'm not going to enjoy that as much yeah well um i i'd be interested to know what people think of season two uh because i really like the westworld movie um really yeah i think it's quite i think it's quite quite good fun okay. i mean it has a simple point to make and it makes it in about 90 minutes which is something <laughs> that the westworld tv show <laughs> has, has failed to do in over 11 hours that i've seen i like your brenner walking towards people going draw Draw, draw. draw. I yeah, like yeah, all that. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Um, but the, the question is, if you could visit an immersive park world like that, but sans killer robots and moral bankruptcy, what would it be? Jurassic. Oh, you'd go full Jurassic. No, because actually I wouldn't want to like shoot the dinosaurs. I well, um, yeah, you, it, the moral bankruptcy wouldn't be there, so it'd be like a dinosaur Oh, zoo. yeah, okay. Without the moral bankruptcy, then yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I would, man, I wouldn't even care that they were robots. If they were smart enough, if the behaviour had been mapped out by paleontologists, that would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like that. a I'd like a pirate theme world thing. Yeah, I tell you what, the pirate one would be interesting because it would have that sort of lawless aspect. Yeah, but it would be without moral bankruptcy. It says here. Yeah, so. I tell you what would be really awesome actually is uh, a pirate one if it wasn't like on land. Yeah, well, I've often thought that it would be a really good idea if you had a big tall ship that you moored up on the Thames and I've made it a pirate that would themed be a good bar. Idea. Oh yeah, also yeah. the bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's like a pirate themed bar that you just drink on. Yeah. I would I'd drink be, Are you that. right, Ellen? We're in the so theatre of fate. Happening. We're in the theatre of fate. Theatre of fate. Work. All right. All right. Hold for hold hold for story hold moment. For fate. Oh. Oh, the theatre of fate. Oh. Oh. Rogues. It's full of cobalt rogues. Smash them with your sword. Uh, here's yeah. a peek behind the curtain at D&D. When uh, we were doing the first episode with M. Chanel's Miracle Elixir. M. Uh, Chanel. Yeah. Johnny was reading the description on the bottle and it says, cures everything from boldness to coboldness. And <laughs> I didn't know what a cobold was. So I had to email Johnny and I said, when you said this, I'm like writing out the label to, for the edit. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you mean, like co hyphen boldness? And what what does that mean? Co boldness? And he's like, no, it's arcane rule. I don't know about. He's like, it's kobold, and they're a creature in Dungeons and Dragons. And I was like, ah, so now I know what kobolds. Yeah. Are. Yeah. And then you were like, nerd. And, I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then I threw his backpack on the roof. <laughs> it was yeah, it was good. Kobold, kobolds in uh, in Warcraft lore are the ones that they um. They have a little candle on their head. Yes, and, and yeah, they, 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 they did value a, it very highly. They did a Hearthstone expansion, mm-hmm. uh, Kobolds and something, Catacombs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Soj King says, congrats on 500k. Onward thank to you. 1 million. Yes. Onward to a million. And Princess Wush says, hey, all want to say thank you again for using my pick for your promo. I'm still totally over the moon. Loving the stream. Keep up the awesome. Thank you. Thank uh, you for that excellent picture. Such a yeah, good if, picture. You, um, if you saw the thumbnail on, uh, on, on this stream and if you saw the, the flyer that we made, that incredible picture of Ellen and I with all of the... Um, fresh memes. So many references. <laughs> so good. Fresh, uh, <laughs> scattered around. Yeah. Um, it, was it was brilliant. They, re- um, they re- yeah, really recreated my art style on f- the Funky Cat Too Fresh that some. Yeah. It, really it was yeah. a perfect re- re- representation. Oh. What's uh, this? So, yeah, once again, thank you. It was awesome. Yes, thank you. Uh, new channel member Alex H. Thank you very much. Thank you. For oh, Ellen, here's welcome. one for you. Carl Obsidian says meeting up with a friend in Fulham, Ellen. Any pub recommendations? Oh, I don't know. It's changed a lot since I've moved from there, even. Um, oh, wait, hang on. Come to Loading Bar. In. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, server. I mean, it's, a, it's, well, it's not that far from Fulham here. Yeah, no. It's, it's, it's the best pub around. It's oh, I really tell you what, um, Mike and I went to a pub in. Uh, it's more.
more like Richmond really than Fulham, but I guess that's not a million miles away. Um, and it was called The Old Sun, I think. The Sun, that's the a, sun. yeah, that yeah. It? And I remember it because um, we had just played Dark Souls Remastered because uh, um, Bandai Namco or Namco Bandai yeah. or whatever they are now <laughs> yeah. are, um, uh, Nando Vampire, Nando Vampire yeah. are, are in, in the area. So we, um, uh, yes, yeah, so we went for a drink there afterwards and Mike was praising the sun outside <laughs> by the sun. Nice. Um, oh, also, what is more likely, Luke loving the Star Wars prequels or Death Stranding making sense? <laughs> uh, I think that Death Stranding will make sense. That's what I'm, I'm putting it. I'm putting it out there now. I think that actually, when all is said and done, when we've completed the game, you'll be like, "Yep, yeah, I get it. I know what happened." Like the Matrix. You know how, like, at the beginning of The Matrix, you're like, whoa, what on earth is going on? But actually, its its own universe hangs together flawlessly. I think it'll be like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, isn't it? Okay, we've, 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 yeah, we've touched the Stone of Destiny, oh, and no. it's come apart, like, in different sections. Okay. Because we touched it. Because we are... The Fateless One. Yes. Uh, I'm of course. doing my homework. Uh, Niall, Niall Walsh says, congrats on 500k, guys. No one more deserving on YouTube. Here's the next 500k, and I can't wait to meet you guys again at EGX. Looking forward to seeing you, Niall. Forward to it. That'd be cool. Um, o Spacebar says, Ellen, have you played any of the DLCs for Kingdoms of Um Little bits, because uh, the DLCs are things that you can play whenever. It kind of just opens up a new area. Okay. And uh, I've started one, and then I was like, no, no, I'm going to wait until I finish the main game, and I'm still like... It's a huge game. Well over 100 hours in. And then also I do a lot of uh, crafting and stuff because um, blacksmithing is an excellent thing in this because you can make far better weapons in blacksmithing than you can ever buy. Like you don't need money. But yeah. Uh, Jared Lund <laughs> says, hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm really looking forward to hearing Luke's new music. Any chance you can play it on the Labo? Congrats on the 500k. Uh, yeah, I, th I mean, you definitely could play it on Labo. Uh, technically, that is, um, that is entirely possible. The reason being that Labo is, uh, you can do anything on Labo. <laughs> you can do truly, it all. It is truly the wonder device. Uh, uh, just earlier good. today, I was brewing up new vaccines <laughs> 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 on the Labo piano. Uh, yeah. Random username for Chris is, how much of show of the week, etc., <gasps> is ad-libbed? Oh, um, okay. So of show of the weekend, um, some of it is scripted. But you can tell what's scripted. The uh, I, well, I, this is the thing. I think you can tell what's scripted, but actually, a lot of people ask how much of it is scripted. Uh, so I'll tell you exactly what's scripted. Uh, the uh, the intro is scripted. Uh, the comments are scripted. Uh, when we have bloopers, the bits in between where we sort of introduce the bloopers are scripted. Everything else is ad libbing. Um, we know ahead of time uh, what game we're going to talk about uh, for the sort of, for the first third. So we plan that a little bit. So, you know, um, uh, uh, tomorrow we're talking about Fortnite. Um, but, like, Ellen knew that I would be talking about Octopath Traveler last week. She didn't know what I was going to be saying, but she knew I'd be talking about it. Uh, and for the quiz, um, we, try to, we try to keep that as, like, blind as possible. We agree what game it's going to be on beforehand. But beyond that, I don't know what questions Ellen's going to ask me. Oh, she doesn't oh. know what questions I'm going to ask her. So it's, it's completely fresh. What yeah. you're seeing is the real reaction. Yeah. It would that would be impossible to script all of yeah. that. Yeah. It would take well, it would take days. Yeah. yeah. And also I think if we were gonna script it, I would hope that it would hung together a little more coherently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Commander Janeway is apologizing for London getting booed at the Overwatch <laughs> Championships. Aww. Apparently they're known for that. Well it's it's fine, honestly. London um, can take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did then get five kills on Volskaya with profit. Yeah. Did, uh, uh, uh. Did, did you all, did you all see that amazing reckoning? I took them all out in reckoning it's good. mode. It's I did. Good. You're like the prophet of Kingdoms of Amala. Uh, pro prophet is the Ellen of Overwatch. Oh, the Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> Connor Watson says, greetings from the Bay Area of California. It's, it's been absolutely great watching the channels over the past few years. Do you guys think you'll do collaborations with other channels like Game Theory? I mean, we would always be open to collaborations. It's just like finding the time and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, being in the same place. And yeah. It's a, a logistical nightmare, basically, <laughs> which is a boring answer. It is a boring answer. It's probably safe to say that if ever you see anything on Outside Extra or Outside Xbox that is a little bit outside of the norm, 
it's taken months and months to <laughs> yeah. uh, like the, man when we tried to like take getting D&D up and running the first time like it was it was months of work because it's something that you have to do around everything else uh, and that stuff doesn't get easier until you're kind of in the in the process of doing it. So so yeah, I mean we 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 love doing collaborations, especially with other channels we respect and admire. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's fine over time. Um, yeah, we can barely find time to collaborate with Eurogamer, and yeah, <laughs> we can barely find time to collaborate with each other. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> Uh, Danny Blue says thanks for all the content folks show of the week and show of the weekend are the two things we never miss Ellen do you want a sequel to Kingdom of Zambalore or has the time passed I would I would actually like a sequel or something you surprise me <laughs> I think I think it was an interesting well like they they were gonna have an MMORPG after this and they, 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 had, big plans, they had like a they? huge apparently there was like a big folder of lore somewhere <laughs> um, but like in Ellen's clutches now <laughs> it's <lame. laughs> um, but yeah like it's it, it, it's just a shame because you know it might, might never be because of all the rights and do stuff you, but it, it's yeah. just such a good world do you think it is a good world and it's a very very good game do you think that the game has more sort of romance and magic because that sequel never got made and probably never will like you know how it was like oh when are they going to make do you no, come forever and no. it was like a sort of mythical thing and no. then they made it and it was rubbish no. and it sort of ruined the whole thing no. you don't feel that no because I liked it anyway. and I was like oh this is really cool I really enjoy this it's probably one of my favourite games and Star. then like I the looked th it up and it was like yeah the it's like the Dr. Dre album under. Detox that's never going to come out yeah, but he keeps releasing other albums that aren't detox, and aren't everyone's like, yeah. "Yeah, it's all right, but it's not detox." But that's the thing. I, th I think, like, the I don't know. One of my favorite things about Kingdoms of Amalur is that it has that sort of romantic tragedy around, yeah, cult following around it. That, yeah, that it you know that it was cut down in its prime and, un and unappreciated. I don't but I'm think. A hopeless romantic. I don't think it does. I think it's just got a lot of people who really liked it and then realized, oh. No, like it, the reason why it didn't do well is because of all this behind the scenes stuff and oh. it wasn't pushed very well and it, it's people who play the game like it and then realise oh now it, no one else is going to play it so so yes you, you would be up for a sequel I would, yeah I'd totally be up for a sequel it's just the combat in this is ridiculously good do you want me to have a, a go for a, a little bit Cool. Okay. I'm gonna. Well, this one is for you. This one's for you, Luke. Commander Janeway says, yeah. Luke, have you ever thought about QuakeCon? You could confirm Doomlink. Uh, I would. I'd be afraid that I'd be hounded out by people who can't handle my truth. Um, like Todd Howard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bundly out of the building. He knows too much. I want. He's I the most dangerous Janeway. man in America. Exactly. I kind of want to find a way of somehow, in a not creepy way, getting in touch with some of the original. Doom uh, and uh, like the Bethesda people because I would love to know their thoughts. Just so you know, <laughs> your Xbox 360 clock is set to 2005 in oh. November. Good, good. Um, <laughs> it's the it was a very good day. year. <laughs> Look at the last time we played it, July oh, yeah, last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's Theatre of Fate. That's the. That's okay. the one. That's the look one. at time played. That's the one oh. we want to look for. Okay. Does, uh, it not, does it not put them in time played? Or it Brian does. Brian Albert it's your says, clock. it's time to go to oh, work, right. boys. I think I found my D&D character's new battle cry. This is why I tune in. Congrats on 500k. Yay. It's a good battle cry. Uh, Arcane Tripwires come by to say congrats on the big 500k. Well deserved for being the best channel on YouTube. Oh, and you. Ryan Schmidt informs me that one of the DLCs is pirate based. Oh. So, cool. I mean, now you have my attention. Yeah. Is it the, 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 the Isles? On the aisles. I can't remember which right, one. I'll give me that controller. I'm feeling more positive this time. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Snedden saved. says, "Congrats on 500k. Good to see Ellen well again. Would be weird doing Kingdom Zamala for 500k without her." Yeah. Well, we were going to do it last week, and then I got ill, so <laughs> I kind of scuffed those plans. And Caden um, Sal says, "Bay over Bay, Luke. Uh, B A Y over B A E. It's fine. It's uh, a valid it opinion. Was, it was Chloe's decision. Yeah, but you're not playing as Chloe. Okay." <laughs> <laughs> Valid decision. Uh, the mysterious Mr. E. Osa says, "Congrats on 500." That's an excellent name. On 500,000 subs, you guys are my favorite gaming slash hairdo slash paramilitary flamingo channel on YouTube. And that's a tough <laughs> In a field. Crowded field. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have yourselves a glorious. Uh, have your glorious selves a celebratory Assassin's Mead on me. Mm. Need more Marston Mondays. That's one of the uh, delicious the gaming themed cocktails they have here at uh, the loading bar. 
What's in an assassin's meat, Jimmy? Rum, ginger beer. Rum, ginger beer. But yeah, let's yes. test, taste test sure. one live yes. on the stream. Yeah, let's do it. Assassin's meat. It's my favorite. Oh my. It's Ellen's favorite, apparently. Yeah. I'm going to put some more points in might, Ellen. Yeah, cool. go for it. Need more Master Mondays. Well, when Red Dead 2 comes out, we might start doing Morgan Mondays which would be Arthur Morgan. Yeah. So I'm glad that they kept the end. Yeah, <laughs> the alliteration. Yeah. Ellen, are you still using the great sword? I'm not using the great sword because it was really slow and okay, I nearly never mind died. Then, never mind, then I'm not going gonna... to... You can update can your update long, long sword, sword though. though. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Jack Wood um, says, hey guys, sorry I can't stick around. I'm in work, but congrats for hitting 500k. Have a drink on me. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Uh, oh, Jeff Salisbury's here from Indiana. Ooh. Uh, the five of you are my faves by far on YouTube. Your attitudes, enthusiasm, and personalities bring such joy and laughter to so many, even outside of the gaming world. Cheers. Oh, shucks. Cheers. Thank you very much. To you, Jeff. Cheers. That's very kind. Uh, you keep going back oh. rather than pressing forward. Oh, sorry. Uh, Peter Sockwell says, congrats on 500k. When are we getting an extra Hitman stream? Would love to see <gasps> five ways to play Hitman when season two comes out. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I can tell you how long it takes to edit a three way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long I mean, does it take? It takes a long time. Yeah. Um, no, that would be. I think that would be cool for like a special. Yeah, I think we do a special. For like yeah. The first episode of season two, we could do a five ways. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it would get confusing with five different perspectives. Five it different feels like. I don't know. You get there, there are some channels that have like huge groups of people doing like let's plays with like six different people. Yeah. Um, and playing yeah, Gary's mod and stuff. You, like, what the most underappreciated aspect of your job is? Is the editing. Editing. Well, editing a three. Yeah. Person let's play where everyone's doing different things at the same time, and trying to get it, like, to make sense narratively, so yeah. everyone's moving towards their objectives and hits them all at the same time, and then. Yeah. And I then did... you can like you have your contrasting things that people are saying. It's uh... a similar edit for me, although it wasn't as complicated. Um, was. Uh, our one where we played um, Killing Floor 2. Oh, yeah. yeah because that, we be both. Yeah, we. No, no. Uh, was it, it was uh, where we played. It was one of the first videos we did. Yeah, and because uh, we both played it, but we recorded separately. Um, and so I was doing the thing where you go back and, back and forth between the two of us. Um, and even and like then, I had the easier thing of we were both playing the same level, and I just had to make sure that those lined up and it was fine. But yeah. You really got to use your dodge. Got to yeah. use your dodge. But yeah, it's it's the the I have so much respect as <laughs> someone who does a lot of editing for the Hitman ones. Yeah, they are. It's a, they are fun. I always feel very proud when they're done because I they come out really well. Yeah, is it because you you can add a lot of comedy to stuff like that? Um, because the the hardest one to do was the patient zero one because yeah. I had one. I had to kill one person and then the target, whereas yeah. Mike had like 160 people. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, how do I get these to like match up in a yeah. way that's the other thing, like, funny? Especially with Hitman, because it's not just playing... My playthrough was 10 minutes and Mike's was like 48 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so getting that, getting that pacing to yeah. be not terrible. Yeah. Uh, Iris says, first time catching you live from Australia. Love, Ellen finally got her gig. I assume that means playing Kingdoms of Amala on the live stream. Dreams mm -hmm. come true, people. Rachel says, hi guys, this is the first live show I managed to catch. Have some monies for all the lovely, funny videos. I'll see you at EGX. Yeah, see cool. you there, Rachel. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, the Year says, congrats no, on 500k subs. You've earned it. Thanks for the hashtag Presh Mems. The funky Mems too Presh. Funky Mems too Presh. And filling my life with joy. And Ellen, Winter Fay or Summer Fay? Ooh. Summer Fae are a bit up themselves, but then the Winter Fae are very emo. So probably the Winter Fae. <laughs> I think that's going to say. Like, one's up themselves, one's emo. I, yeah. think, I think you know. Because the, 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 the bad guy is a Winter Fae, but like, they're, they're, they're just, the, it's the two sides of the coin. So it's like life and death. They're not evil. They just bring balance. And sure. Yeah. I'm not evil. I just bring balance. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, Peter Sockwell says, forgot to ask, is there any chance to see the OX crew playing a game like Dead of Winter? Oh my goodness. Oh, I think the Assassin's Meat. The Assassin's Meat is here. Thank you, Jimmy. He's here. Uh, uh, generously provided by Jimmy from the loading bar. Yeah. With chocolate coins. It comes with cho chocolate. chocolate coins. Oh Ellen, do you want to uh, show it to the camera? Give it yeah, let's a have a look up. at this. Look at that. So this is the Assassin's Creed cocktail here Ooh, at loading. That delicious gradient. And it comes with chocolate monies. 
but will we ever see the OX crew playing a game like Dead of Winter? Oh, uh... I, having played it, um, there, there's a lot of dark stuff that happens in it, and yeah, so it might, it might be, be a little, little bit too dark. Be a little off-brand. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I'm so going to taste test this. I, I absolutely love it, and I recommend it, but it is very much an adult game, and it deals with a lot of... Difficult stuff. Yeah, it's, I think of um, like the Walking Dead TV show. Yeah, it's and like and the comics and everything. It's it's that level, but not. It's like even worse because like random events can happen. Adult themes. Yeah. And yeah, mm. adult very uh, adult themes. Luke. You know. Yeah. Some this in your face. Okay. You can because it is incredibly delicious. I'll drink it to celebrate my victory over these. It's like ginger beer and pineapple horrible, juice. Horrible trolls. I think so in there good. and some rum. It's very good. Uh, Lily Brazil says, completely agree about Warren. Also, Bay before Bay. That's B-A-E over B-A-Y. So nice, nice. All right. That cocktail is great. It's really good. It's really fruity. I appreciate a fruity cocktail. Mm. Uh, Jeff Edwards says, hello from Seattle. Hi, Seattle. I love hey, Seattle. Seattle. Seattle's great. Uh, I super appreciate and admire the thought, effort, and time that shows in each of your videos. My fave build was Universalist because I loved all the freedom it gave in skills. Ooh. So that's cool. Uh, thank you for your kind words. That's cool. And um, yeah, Seattle is great. These uh, guys are not good up close. Oh, wow. Patrick Long says, in Oxbox's very first GTA heist, Andy lamented not having an Oxbox carnival float with my sympathy. I have the best news about the After Hours update. If you all play it, please upload reactions. Well, I mean, that's cryptic. But it sounds like there's now carnival floats in GTA, I mean, which is great. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm picking up. Very excited. Uh, Rick O'Connor says, congrats, guys. Big love to all you rock. Thank you, Rick. It's very yeah, kind of yeah. you to say. All right, I'm going to take my celebration yeah. because I defeated three enemies. Sweet. I'm take, three si <laughs> take three sips. Take three sips. Three whole yeah. enemies. All right, Ellen. I am, I am proud of you. Thank you. Jimmy, this is really good, <laughs> by the way. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Well, Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Mmm. I like the pineapple. So creamy and yet so fruity. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. This is good stuff. Okay, where am I going? Uh, the chocolate course. Alexander Cow says, love you guys watching from Oz. Thank you for introducing me to Pup Luke. I love them now. Hey! Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, a big, big treat for fans of Luke's Pup, <laughs> pup shirt in Show of the Week tomorrow. <laughs> show of the Weekend tomorrow. I may or may not have got a new one. So, <laughs> watch out for that. Be excited. <laughs> see that uh, ken gator says good morning from california sadly it's time for work boys so i'll have to catch the rest later <laughs> congrats on the 500k you guys are all awesome have a good rest of your day ah oh. oh. thank you and what a cool catchphrase you have yeah it's time for work boys, time for everyone. work boys uh, camo coyote says here from south carolina work from home day for those that played world of warcraft have you seen the warbringer videos opinion oh, of horde slash alliance now Mm. Okay, yeah, so there's... Um, so there's you were just watching this, right? I just was, now. I was just, what should I Before say we started. You, I said, you I said, stop talking I, to you yeah. because there's a six-minute World of Warcraft. <laughs> he literally did say that. He said, I need some time alone. So. Ah, wolf! Uh, okay, so um, there's some metadrama happening in uh, uh, World of Warcraft at the moment because uh, in the lead-up to the next expansion, they're like putting some big story stuff out there. It mm. makes me think a little bit of like, you know how before a big pro wrestling thing, everyone's cutting a promo on everyone else and yeah. they're kind of like, like I some, do know stuff, that. Yeah. some stuff happens before the match that's canon. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's a little bit like that. So uh, Sylvanas Windrunner, who is um, the current war chief of the Horde, which is a really awesome position yeah. to hold. Um, so she, she got, was, is there beef with Jimmy Sourfang? Uh, uh, no, they're actually on the same team. Oh, they're on the same team. They're on the same. They're on the same team. But they're seen. Um, but oh, I think I'm out. Of, I'm out of potions now. Yeah. Oh, I wish I didn't just have one and had drank it already. You can't so, have just one. You can't, yeah, that's true. I think you're on so your way out. So after this, we can get you somewhere. Okay. Yeah, you're on your way out. I'm just gonna walk with my shield like this. No, nope. is it? You killed everything. No, no Ellen. <laughs> it has chances. to be this way. Yeah. So uh, okay. So uh, yeah. Sylvanas so um, burned down. Uh, Teldrassil, I think it's called, which is like the night elf home, like capital city, which presumably killed a lot of innocent people. And the thing uh, about the Warcraft universe is that the Horde aren't the baddies. 
uh, both the Horde and the Alliance are sort of morally ambiguous, even though the Horde are sort of ostensibly the sort of big monstery ones. So, um, a lot of players are, are sort of unhappy with that development. I did see some very unfortunate and definitely not good stuff with like um, people take like taking it out on Blizzard employees and stuff Aww. like that. Which oh, is, no, that's not cool. Which sucks. is never okay. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I actually think it's really interesting the stuff the stuff that they're doing. Um, I'm a big Horde fan, so I, yeah. Would um, you say that Sao Fang is the true war chief? Now, okay, so <laughs> I, I, I really think that that's what they that's what they were kind of teeing up a little bit with the cinematic today. Um, uh, oh, I don't know who should lead the Horde. Don't make me choose. I actually really like uh, Sylvanas Windrunner generally until she burned down this tree with everyone in. <laughs> can Can I just show you? We've gone. Oh, there. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, now we have to go all the way over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, cool. So I'm gonna right, go to go. Uh, go. Alex H says, first live stream. I'm usually sleeping, but I bought this game because of Ellen, so I figured I should watch. Thank you very much. Woo, thank you. Uh, Luke, have you seen the teaser for Life is Strange 2? Thoughts? Is that <gasps> the thing with the the cop and the exploding? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So the first. You have many thoughts. The first thoughts. I, I'll, I'll actually. I'll just give you one. So Can you, it doesn't take yeah, too long. Proceed yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you could. If you could just. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so um. In Captain Spirit, there is a newspaper article you can read which mentions the mysterious death of uh, a policeman and someone who uh, was shot. It's it's like a sort of like an arrest gone wrong is kind of the implication, mm -hmm. and, that, and that there's been some sort of civil unrest as a result of that, like a slightly mysterious killing. So I'm pretty sure that the teaser. Um, that we saw for Life is Strange 2 with the cop car and the dash cam and stuff. I think that is going to be related to that. So I think we've seen it teased in Captain Spirit. Cool. Uh, Ereon71 says, Killing your friends with AoEs sounds like Jane. Uh, and to, to be fair, she did nearly get you with Eldritch Blast in the first episode. I she think. did, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She, she was a dog before it was, yeah, uh, before it was before, cool. Before it was fashionable. Yeah. Yeah. Before uh, I made it fashionable. <laughs> Scott Peters says, Greetings from Australia. Congrats on 500k. Your content is always awesome. Looking forward to seeing lots more each week. Thanks, oh, Scott. Thank you. That's very kind. Thank you. Uh, Mimic You is adorable is uh, by to say, Hey guys, congrats on 500k. Lovely seeing Orca again. I know yeah. Ellen has cosplayed before, but if everyone had to pick a co character to cosplay, who would it be? Quick fire. Who would he be? I want to do Evie Fry Evie one Fry. day. Uh, Phoenix Wright. Uh, McCree from Overwatch. Nice, there we go. There we go. I'm going to get a robot arm. Brilliant. Or actually um, Snake from uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 so, with oh, a robot yeah, arm. Okay. If I but, get an okay. all-purpose red robot arm, yeah. I could do both. Can so, guys with beards. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's want, easy. Oh, Godo from the Ace Attorney series, not Phoenix. Godo? He's got that, yeah, the visor. He's got the, we've got the visor. And he's got the... Like, oh, the, arm yeah, things. the yeah. Uh, bartender arm man thing. I have so much time for that. Yeah. I just like that. <laughs> just like <laughs> squeeze. Oh, these. Someone called oh, the back. These, these, these old things. <laughs> just got back from the arms dealer. <laughs> it deals to both sides. <laughs> um, uh, yep. So Dallas Smith is a new channel member. Thank you, Dallas. Thank you, Dallas. Welcome. Uh, JR says, what would you all suggest someone looking to get into games media to do? Build a portfolio, write blog posts. Yeah, just yes. make stuff. Do whatever it is yeah. you want to do. Yes. Just start doing it. Just start doing so it. So you can show people that you can do it. Yeah, don't overthink it. Just um, yeah, just get stuck. Got to make YouTube say. videos. Start making YouTube videos. Yeah. And we talk about this a lot, so I won't go into it loads again. But um, if, if there's a niche like within gaming, if there's like a particular series that doesn't get a lot of coverage that you know about, then pitch that to um, to game sites because chances are they might be looking for you know like they want to be able to review. I don't know world of tanks or whatever but they've got no one on staff who's ever played it or knows anything about it so if if, if there's a niche series that you know about mm -hmm. pitch that around Thanks. cool uh maria hennessy is a new channel member thank you very much and ian goldring you. says you've never seen quake ellen i always build a character of perfect equilibrium got to get that xp boost uh -huh. so I think that's the spell that you used right the yes quake, quake yes one? yes the might w it's it's because it's in might and i just don't have anything in might at all but Mike makes right. <laughs> oh, no, wait. No, the opposite. No. Puff Puff Adder says, congrats on 500k. Excited for EGX this year as my first gaming con ever. Any advice or must-do things other than your OBS fab live show? Live shows. So come to both because they'll be good. Um, oh, gosh. Well, I mean, I think, I think the key is not to try and do too much. Like if there's yeah. one game you really want to play, mm -hmm. get there early, 
get in line for that yep. and sort of make that your one thing that you have to do and then you can spend the rest of the day sort of wandering around and seeing what looks good playing like indie games that don't have so yeah. big a queue yeah actually so indie games there's yeah often there's not much of a queue and you've said this before andy but you can talk to the person who made the game often which is yeah. really fun i am a huge fan of that there's a huge like retro area mm, and uh, the queues really for that good. are often not very intense but it's brilliant playing like they've they've got all like old consoles and stuff and i think that's really fun mike was delighted last year because they had like an uh, original outrun arcade cabinet yeah yeah he was loving it with the big plastic car that you sit in free that bird oh no it's not <laughs> the most one. free that one ellen that's harsh I've just that been is doing harsh. alchemy and you've not bothered and then a bird comes on the about, screen well, well, like, what, i did look look so alchemy you can experiment with different things, right? Yeah, and I just discovered thing. the minor healing potion well, that's thing. Very, well, go give it to that sick chicken. I think it's a bit more than sick. Well, then, well, then find, <laughs> alchemy up something to bring it back to life. Sure. Uh, sure. You didn't even try and free that other chicken. Here's a good comment sure. from Scrag Wallace, okay. who says, 500k subs is great and all, but can we please take a moment to appreciate Andy's handsome face? Have a drink on us. Yep. Thank you very much. Let's all <gasps> just... You're not taking a moment to appreciate my handsome face, Lee. You did that. You knew that would happen. You knew that there that would draw no focus way. from you how handsome I am. This is outrageous. There's Why no way. I tried to break the thing. I suppose you did. You, did you mean to kill that? Chicken? No. You know, you know okay. what she meant to do, right. Luke. She meant to kill that. <laughs> Chat. What do you think she <laughs> meant to do? Was she yeah. trying to free? the I was chicken? trying to free the chicken. Or Look, was this a if you hit of a cage, crime, if you hit a cage, maybe last time she got a taste with something in it. You hit the cage, oh, not wow. the thing in it. Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. I've gone up too high. Wait, where am I? Yeah, I'm upstairs. Oh man, I hate this when you're in a building in a uh, game and the there we quest go. marker's trying to tell you where to go, but you don't know what floor. Uh, Chem's here to say, hey, I love you guys. Always wanted to support you guys, but was never able to catch a live stream until now. So glad you could make it. Uh, Cherry Bones <laughs> says, hey guys, I'm a doctor, so I can't watch, but just want to let you guys know I love you and I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Hope uh, doctors Kaden is okay. Sile says, how much do we have to pay for Hamilton karaoke? I would love to see Andy rap that. Um, you don't have to pay to see Andy rap Hamilton. You only yeah. have to <laughs> be near him at any time. I'm not yeah. throwing away right. my shirt. No, I'm not throwing away my shirt. I know he's thinking shirt. about it. It's could you just, could yeah. you delight us with a verse? Just, uh, sure. Okay. You've got to find points. Yeah. So he's it. doubled the size of the government. Doesn't wasn't that trouble with much of our previous government size? Look in his eyes. See how he lies. Follow the scent of his enterprise. Centralizing national credit and making American credit competitive. Uh, if we don't stop it, we aid and abet it. I have to resign. Somebody has to stand up for the South. Somebody has to stand up to his mouth. If there's a fire you're trying to douse, you can't put it out from inside the house. I'm in the cabinet. I am complicit in watching him grabbing a power and kissing him. Watching and didn't go to listen to discipline. Dissidents. This is the difference. This kid is out. There you go. I'm seeing like the purple outfit <laughs> and everything. It's good. Uh, but yeah, they have Ellen. they have Hamilton at Lucky Voice now, so we could do that. Ellen. Ellen. Uh, <laughs> Commander Janeway <laughs> says, Ellen, you could always lie. It might get the game a sequel. Spock eyebrow raise. So I think that's a reference to something we said. That's a reference to when we were an like, hour ago. Like, Ellen, <laughs> so, would you like there to be a yeah. sequel? We're quite behind on these comments, oh, so well, I'm going to quick fire. Something. Yeah. So yeah. Roxanne Barnes says, "Congrats on the 500k subs. Well deserved. Please, can I get a shout out? Last week was my 21st birthday, uni oh, graduation, oh, and first Comic Con. Wow! So oh, happy congrats, birthday. Roxanne. That is a bunch of awesome stuff congrats, so to happen. Uh, shout out to Roxanne. Stuart uh, McKinley says, "Hey guys, hope you're well. Favorite beer type? Um, I'm going to say lager." Yeah. Pale, IPA. yeah, Pale. I think Pale. Lager yeah. <gasps> No, fruity, raspberry. I had Stone Cold Steve Austin's beer, the Stone, the Broken Skull IPA. That was delicious, mm. uh, if you can get your hands on that. Quite like a stout. I like the weakest beer and the, and the sort of darkest beer, but not the in-betweeny ones. Nice. Oh, and a red, yeah, red beer as well. Actually, oh, just no, all beer, the beer's red, nice. Red beer's an in-betweeny one. Uh, Stephen Bill says, congratulations, you're all great, including Andy. Okay, so <laughs> good. Uh, <laughs> Matthew Dole is a new channel member. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, one Gemini says, congrats, Luke and Ellen. You and Oxbox were most of my viewing while working this year, so many thanks to the company. It's a really lonely job. Aww. Aww. Well. Happy to help. Yeah, uh, yeah, hope, hope it's all going well. Um, and... Yeah, lonely job sounds sounds bad. Hopefully you can uh, find yeah. some company. 
Yeah. Thunder Howl says, congrats on the 500k milestone. Great stream to wake up to as well as a callback for a new job. Uh, got another in the works too. Keep up the good work. So hey. good luck to Thunder Howl. Nice one. Ken Gaming says, love your channel, guys. Smash Always try it. and catch your live streams. Much love from Detroit. So, Detroit? Yeah. I hear it's Have becoming become human. human? <laughs> <laughs> um, I hear it's the co-star of Robocop. Uh, JR says, just want to say this is one of the best gaming communities I've ever found. All the commenters Aww. respect each other. It's a clear, cool spring of positivity in the morass of YouTube comments. Can I, can I hear that again, Andy? It's, clear. it's a clear, cool spring of positivity in the Aww. morass of YouTube comments. That's so lovely. Well, I mean, uh, we, we try to do what we can to lead by example, but that's mostly down to you guys being excellent to each other yeah. uh, in the comments. So, yeah. Thank you. Like Bill and Ted. Like Bill and Ted. Uh, Everything you need is in Bill and Ted. <laughs> Everything we needed, and yet we can we continue I mean, to make films. It's an excellent <laughs> adventure. I'm oh, in it. Good. <laughs> good. Um, see, see, it works. Um, Kathy Ed says, "My sister watches Critical Role a lot, and I still insist that the Ox Venturers are better than the Mighty Nine. She's not impressed." Oh, oh gosh. Well, oh uh, well, Critical Role is amazing. Yes, uh, we're not going to. We're not, we're we're not going, going to be challenging Critical Role anytime yeah, soon. We're not going to stand here and say that we're better than Critical Role. We're just going to imply yeah. it with our eyes. <laughs> oh, Ty C donates uh, five dollars and six cents and says 0. 0.506 million. Hey. So we're there at 0. 0.506. And Bob Mumby says, uh, "Made sure I got all my work done this hey, morning so I could chill with the stream." Yeah, so thanks, oh, Bob. Look, and Ellen's chilling with the stream. Uh, yeah. Uh, new channel member uh, Connor Heddle McCurk. So hey. thank you, Connor. The one who snacks says, hey, you studs, what's your most prized possession? Because <laughs> I'm going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you studs. Hey. My mo oh, man. Uh, most prized possession. My banjo is pretty good. Don't go in for possessions. Uh, yeah, I have no possessions. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine no possessions. It's easy if you try. It's yeah. <laughs> uh, a really good question. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, I'm really not sure that. I must have something. I must have. Uh, um, I don't know. I, I love my <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say, um, uh, like the watch that I always wear, that Cassia thing. So actually, I can't find it at the moment. No. So oh, no. very, You've lost your prize position. Oh up. gosh. Okay. Um, Patrick Long says, I only discovered Oxbox through Oxtra when I simply couldn't scroll past Luke's video about Doom Link. Yes. Uh, the Penguin and Spider video sealed the deal, and for the longest time, I assumed Luke is a sadistic torturer, a la Jane. <laughs> well. Yep. Until you realise that actually he was just a misunderstood genius. Caden Sal says, maybe a mistake, but Andy sing Wild Wild West. So, well, I, just the singing part. We're going straight to the Wild Wild West. We're going straight to the Wild 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 West. That's the only singing part, so hope yeah. that was what you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> we just did a rap. <laughs> Danish Psycho Boy says, after a long, warm day at work and a long, warm commute home, it's nice to be able to just lie down and watch the Moxter and just relax. Uh, imagine they're horizontal right now on the floor of their yeah, living room, exactly. just watching this. <laughs> yeah. Face Staring down. Up the <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Zach Zahn says, you can definitely autosave, check your settings. Oh. Uh, Stephanie Gooch is a new member. Thanks, Stephanie, mm -hmm. for being a channel mm -hmm. member. That's awesome. Uh, Bobby F hey, says, Stephanie. congrats on 500k. P.S. Don't forget to save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kirsch Gott says, cheers. May all of you keep on being a bright pocket of positivity in all of life's darkness. Greetings and congratulations Ooh. from Austria. Oh, thank, thank you very you much. Thank you very much. Hello, Austria. Good to be a bright pocket. Uh, the new, a new channel member, the Edu Gamer, says new mem uh, is a sorry. I've, it's not a comment. They are a new member, the Edu Gamer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Edu Gamer. And Stephanie Gooch is here again, saying to help Ellen cheer up from Spider Talk. Do you have a favourite cat breed? Mine is Ragdoll. Love from the Pacific Northwest. Oh, wait, Ragdolls wait, wait, wait. are cool. I think I know what your favourite kind of cat is. Can I ask as a kind of impromptu, Mr. and Mrs. Thing? Go. On. It's uh, it's. I don't know if it's technically a breed, but you like tabbies, right? I love tabbies. I love tabbies. I especially love Maine Coon tabbies because they're like Huge. massive and they're kind of a bit like dogs as well in that they they really like chilling out with humans. Yep. So yeah, like a tabby, yeah. like a tortoise shell as well. Oh yeah. Then my um, apparently my Patronus is a Coleco cat on Pottermore. Oh, oh Patchy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ellery J says, ideas for horse names for Red Dead Redemption 2. It's already decided. Horse and Senior. Horse and Senior. Because I've got that war horse. War -horse got that pre-order on the go. War Horse and... Yeah, Horse and Senior. He's the wise old what about father. Horse, like and, horse and well old. But, but he's not. He's, he'll be young at the time. And his <laughs> horse. Yes, but he's anticipating that he'll be old. Okay. 
<laughs> all right, yeah. Okay, well, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Horse, uh, do you imagine that Horse and Senior uh, is like a sort of chill and uh, like a vuncular figure? Or no, I imagine he's, he's a stern like Mufasa. Distant? He's a stern Mufasa character. Mufasa's not super stern. He's only a king when he needs to be. See, Mufasa, yeah. I'm going to say it, not a great dad. <laughs> Just, I'm just enjoying the House of Ballads, guys, which oh, okay. is uh, the home of the Everyone, Summer Everyone, this Fae. is the House of Ballads. Um, Please appreciate the House of Ballads. Thank you. There's it's good. So oh. you've got, there's a vacancy. Oh, I wonder why. Uh, well, Craig B says, hooray for more Kingdom of Amalur, one of my favourite games. Yeah. So Yay. I hope you're enjoying the House of Ballads. Looks like Craig. there are a lot of vacancies, to be honest, because there's only it's a massive place. And there's only about <laughs> three people in it. <laughs> <laughs> got a comment from Kathy Ed. For us Americans who don't know it better, can you explain what what are you like and they don't like it up em, sir, means. Okay, so to take those one at a time. Um, oh, what are you like? What are you like? What are you like? Uh, it's sort of, uh, I guess what it means is... I can't is believe oh, the you. things you do. Yes, it's a, it's, it's a kind of like a friendly, cheeky way of, of pointing out someone's foibles. When, someone's, when someone says something like a bit crazy or a bit wacky or does something that you think is very much in their character, you'd be like, so it'd be like, oh, I've fell asleep on the night bus like, yeah. what are you like what are you like what are you like oh no I've just oh, I've lost my wallet again what am I like what am I like yeah honestly what am I like and um, they don't like it up them sir <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means it's just from dad's army it's a quote yeah, yeah. but what does it mean well it what does it mean it, it's, it's to do uh, it's um. I'll do some story while you t- Try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. don't Chats like it when they're on the back foot. Maybe that's they what don't that means. like it. Up and well, it's it's um, referencing a particular line in Dad's Army. Yeah, which was an old sitcom. Which yeah. was an old sitcom, very funny about um, the home front, which were all the the men who were called for active duty, but they weren't old enough or well enough to go actually fight. So they were the home defence. They were the home front. Mm. Um, and it's all very silly and very sweet. Um, and I think it's Corporal <laughs> Jones um, yeah. is the one. And it, it's he's saying, well, they don't like it. But someone says something up and, and yeah. 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 It's like it's like equivalent of saying like, how do you like how do you like, like them them apples, apples or something yeah, like, but yeah, like yeah, weirder. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is why it normally comes to mind when we've just like smashed some enemies or something. Yeah, they don't like, like it up and don't like it up a melon. And then because it's uh, from the 60s, there's a lot of innuendo as well. Yeah, so. Yes, of course. Uh, Ellen, I feel like we've got to make a moral choice here. No, no, no. It's just do you want to do the quest or not? Oh, well, okay. yeah, I suppose so. Uh, Commander Janeway says, as someone who follows your social media, do you guys not have air conditioning over in London? Some places have air conditioning. Some do. Some this bar has air conditioning. This, this, yeah, the servered bar does. Yeah. I don't know um, anyone who has air conditioning drinks. in their actual <laughs> house. Yeah, it's no. pretty rare to get air conditioning in homes because you really, like, apart from this heat wave, you would you would only need it, like, one week of the year, so yeah. it's not really worth the like, money. It's it's really... The, the weather that we're having right now is very odd. It wouldn't be this hot for this long, usually. Yeah. Like, when I was in uh, California after E3, like, everywhere, every building you go into is, like, ice yeah, poles. Yeah, everything. Um, yeah. So you can really, like, not experience the actual weather at all if you yeah. don't want to. I mean, don't get us wrong, no matter what the weather is, we'll be complaining about it. Oh, sure. Oh, for, for sure. Yeah. Naturally. But, uh, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Anna-Marie Van Pier says, fan name, Oxfam. Or is that one trademarked? Oxfam. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like it. I like it as well. Maybe we'll we call can them the Oxfam. With the actual Oxfam. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe they'd be willing to change their name once we tell them how good it is. Yeah. Samuel Murray says, going uni in September, you got any advice? Oh, uh, um, join lots of clubs. Yeah, join lots of clubs. Uh, meet a lot of people. Find a karaoke night that yep. happens regularly. Yeah, uh, that's my advice. Yeah, be open-minded. Go to the Ooh. go to the like op- open day stuff and the well, press fair. With while the you're here, um, go yep. uh, to a merchant. I've put marks to lo- mark to load of things as junk. So if you find a oh, merchant okay, cool. that you can sell things to, Are and you can. Any of these dots merchants? Do you reckon? Um, it'll be like in halls. So I think there yeah. is one in there. Um, uh, yeah, go to society. Societies and stuff uh, are the reason that I built the confidence up to start making videos and talk about video games and all that sort of stuff, and that's where I am now. So. Colin Spears says, why not Oxters, especially for views in Scotland? 
Oxters. 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 I like it. Quite like it. Uh, Haven Durrell says, oh yeah, I forgot. Happy 500k. Thank you, Haven. Hey. <laughs> uh, Kieran Pugh says, planning on getting an OX related tattoo eventually. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Anything you'd recommend other than just the letters OX in the team colours? Um, man, I don't feel like we can yeah, really give That would be an official endorsement. That would I be, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think find something that you really like and really want to have on your body for the rest of your life. And then, I, and then think about it for a little while. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah, the, yeah. There's, uh, the advice that I get from like proper tattoo artists is have a design and look at it every single day. Have it somewhere that you see it every single day. Oh, like the rent, in your house like or, in your house nice or yeah, you know yeah, yeah. but it's your phone background or something that you constantly see it mm. and then it, it you know do you get bored of it or you know um i think if you go for anything i really like um with our t-shirts often uh like the insert coin ones where you can't quite tell that it's a reference mm -hmm. so like sometimes people get band name tattoos but it's more fun if they get like something that symbolizes something yeah. from that that is like properly designed with, and with all that said, I would say definitely get a huge back piece of funky cat too fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, do that. Scarlett Carroll says, Love you guys oh, and the fresh. kittens at my work love Ellen's voice. They won't stop pouring and meowing at my phone. Aww. Those cats Aww. definitely want to eat you, Ellen. Yes. Yeah. Brock Sisson says, a glance seems to show that Oxciders is the name. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. I like it. Ooh. Tefrasa says, much love from Gateshead. Finished work at the CAB and going for a Mexican meal with the GF in one hour. This is the best way to spend the time in between. Hey. Mexican. Hey. Oh, I love Mexican food. I am jealous. Darth Monk says, have you given any thought as to what advanced classes options to go for if you ever level up in D&D? Love from Denmark. I'm going nope. full swashbuckler. Uh, there's a whole combat yep. style about swinging off chandeliers and backflipping around the place, so I'm doing that. I don't feel like it would be true uh, to Dob's character if I gave it very much thought beforehand, so I'll, yeah. I'll figure it out when the time comes. Cool. Uh, Maku270 says, hey guys, congrats on the milestone. Quick question, did any of you guys ever play a Shadow Hearts game on the PS2? Oh, no. I, I didn't. didn't. Did you? Shadow Hearts? Um, no. No, no, sorry. None no. of us played Shadow Hearts. That's probably a, that's a gap in my gaming knowledge. I should really Ellen, sort out. And I wandered into a house, and now this elf is teaching me the the, the persuasive arts. <laughs> um, Teach me persuasion. Uh, yeah, if you press seduction. Y, it will give you options. So you oh, get I can't up to. Afford that. I can't she'll afford help to you. Fifteen thousand gold. It's cause she it's is quite persuasive, though. I think we should. <laughs> yeah, we should if I had the money, I'd, if I had the money, I'd do it. Yeah. Um, Cornian says, "Hey guys, congrats on 500k! Follow. I love your let's plays, regardless of games, because your commentaries are hilarious. Taking oh. the boards second time. Wish me luck. Uh, good luck for the oh. boards. Good luck. Oh. Good Hope luck it goes well." Uh, Station Cami says, "Congrats from LA." on Ooh. your major milestone. Random question, aside from Luke's spectacular Dark Souls accomplishment, what other game are you guys most proud of finishing? Now time to get back to work. Those planes won't build themselves. Oh, building planes. That's cool. So, cool. so they're going back to building planes, but what video games are we proud oh, yeah. of completing? Uh, I'm <laughs> quite proud of finishing Deus Ex Human Revolution with uh, the achievement for not setting off any alarms or killing anyone. Nice. I'm the same, but with uh, Dishonored, mm -hmm. Ghost, uh, clean hands and totally good and something else as well. Like I got like four achievement pops at once. Two hundred nice. G in one go. Yes. Nice cash. Uh, Julian Rossi says I've never seen a Canadian flamingo, so maybe the Canadian auxiliaries could be the loons or the herons if long legs are required. <laughs> and they uh, are. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, long, long legs are uh, definitely useful, but you know, wh whatever you whatever you bring into the table, we'll have it. Uh, Ellen, there's a question here for you, which is a load of words I don't understand. Buenos Diaz says, Ellen, big question. Are you more a dagger fan or far blade? My secondary were the chakrams for when I haven't saved in a while and I'm afraid of dying. Um, so chakrams are the circular ones that if you have enough in sorcery, you can unlock and okay. use and they're great. They're like kind of boomerangy type things they're very like area of effecty almost and like Ooh. and they cast a path through and it's amazing um i was daggers slash fey blades um fey blades are like that and you hold them and it looks like you've got big claws and it's cool um but yeah yeah i was daggers and fey blades and i'd switch between depending on what the level of the actual daggers were because you find different things so we've stumbled on a disagreement here uh, Zephyrum says, hi from Tennessee. I've had an undiagnosed illness for six years and discovered the OX teams last year. Just wanted to say thanks to both teams for all the smiles on days I didn't think I could. 
Mm. Oh, so oh, very happy to help. Uh, sorry to hear about the the undiagnosed illness. Yeah. Um, Big hugs and don't worry too much. Okay. Yeah. Hope you get the yeah. Hope you get the the diagnosis you're looking for uh, mm -hmm. soon. And yeah, I'm glad that we. Yeah, that. happy to help yeah. in whatever way we can. Hmm. Uh, Leah Wisho says hello and congrats on 500k. Also, thanks for apparently controlling the weather since I got rained out of work just in time for the live stream. So hey, you're welcome. You the machine worked then. Good. Uh, Sojay King says, "What levels are your D and D characters? Still one, but apparently we're going to level up when we do another yeah, offline." Yeah, we supposed to like level up when a we while did ago. The last yeah. good thing we did, whatever that was. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're going to level up the next time we play, which will be exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Dude Shut Up123 says, Hey guys, what's your favourite side game? I used to love the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. Also, what game are you guys playing? Don't think you've ever mentioned this before. And then that emoji. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. Congrats on the 500k subs. I just want to quickly explain yeah. um, a weird thing about Kingdoms of Mamala and the Fae and like all um, the stories. So right now is the story of Sir Sagrel. So Sir Sagrel went in here and he killed a Thresh. Okay. Um... But because everything is rotational, um, yeah. a different Fey can be Sir Sagrel. It's like a play, like a role, oh, okay. almost, okay. Okay. that they have to fulfill. And so cool. there isn't a Sir Sagrel right now. So basically, you have to so play I out can his be story. Sir right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're sort of doing a. We're kind of acting right now. Yes. Nice. Yes. Okay. And in, in terms of the side games, the answer is Ace Attorney Investigations. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, was it, what was the what was the question? Oh, about um, favorite side games like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Ooh. Oh yeah, Ace Attorney Investigation. It's really great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll run through some comments really quickly. Uh, DK says congratulations, Oxtra and Luke. I just finished Life is Strange. I reloaded the ending three times. Bay over Bay. I won't tell you which one it is. Uh, Elaborate Sky says, Hi from NC. I think that's North Carolina. Hi, you guys. I'm so glad I caught this live stream. I'm sitting in the hospital recovering from surgery and you all definitely make my day. Oh, well, feel better. Um, hope yeah. the surgery went well. And thank you so much for stopping by the live stream. It's really good to see you. Uh, Huvian Brown says, Hi, Ellen from Hawaii. Katie Penkert says, Hello from Texas. You don't know hey. how hot it is. Oh, until no. 111 degrees Fahrenheit Whoa. outside. Texas that's is intense. But ridiculous. nothing is as hot as the Oxbox Oxford crew. That's right. Keep up the great work. Uh, L-O-T-R Batman says, there was a question last week about favorite Pratchett books, but Andy and Ellen weren't here. So what is your favorite Pratchett book or character? I really like the Rincewind's uh, books. Kind of yeah, like those absolutely ones. love. Um, and the, uh, the City Guard stuff. Like um, I've Sam not. Sam Vimes and Carrot. Carrot may be my favorite character. I've not in. read that many of those. I love Death. <laughs> I love Death. Um, Ellen Rose, 2018. And Mort as well. Mort is good. He's yeah. great. Um, I Yeah, I think... More is probably my favourite book, um, cool. and yeah, De Death is just great. I just really like how kind of. Uh, Robin oh, Simpson McKay says, "OMG, at Kings of Mamlo, Emlyn must be so happy. Love these live streams, guys." Yeah. Uh, Dave McKay donates. Thank you very much. Commander Janeway says, "Take back my apology for us booing you, and I boo you too, because of my comments about profit." So, <laughs> boo to London. <laughs> from Philadelphia. Velcro Yuffie says, what spell has Ellen placed on my cats, Faithy and Rosie, to make them sit here and purr whenever they hear her voice? Uh, it's a common theme, apparently. Yeah. You're some kind of cat whisperer. Matthew Eidson says, I've asked outside Xbox this question before, but if you could have any actor play you in a film, who would you have? Quick fire, Luke. Uh, probably uh, Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Ellen Page, because everyone constantly tells me I look like her. Nice. All right. Uh, Patrick Long says, a pirate-themed drinks establishment in the water is more properly called a barge. Which, uh, hey. Hey. That's good. And there boo also. Is. Sam Jones says, Hi guys, it's my birthday today and I've just turned 24. Can I have a shout out from the most awesome YouTube streamers streaming Kingdoms Amala on my birthday? Happy birthday, Sam. Uh. Uh, happy 24th. Hope you have a great day. Uh, Patrick Long says, The chat wishes to remind Ellen to save. Ellen, save. <laughs> the one who snacks says, Hey, funny bunches of oats. I just wanted to let you know that your smiles are proof that the best things in life are free. Aww. Aww. That's, that's really kind. Bunches of oats. Uh, random username for Chris says have you listed times for meet and greet at EGX I'd be grateful to meet you again and ideally hear Ellen's life affirming laugh in person again uh, yes you'd... yes we've got times haven't we I think I think. Uh, yeah, yeah they should... I think so I think they're on the they're on the EGX... announcement page yeah, they should be so... on the EGX site um, we'll put it on Twitter later if they are yeah uh, if you could poach another presenter who we'll just get all of Eurogamer yeah, they, yeah. You know, like, yeah. all of them they're great yeah just them. Uh, Daniel Get Lockley them the Smith moments. says, "Congrats on the 500k. If you wanted to, you could start a socially awkward army. How does it feel to know you reach so many people?" <laughs> uh, well, um, uh, flattering and a bit surreal because uh, we've talked about this a little bit before, but we don't um, because we work from home uh, and you know we sort of make all our, our kind of 
videos like in our homes and we film in the studio one day. We don't really see you all, all no, that often. It's only yeah. a few times a year that, uh, and you know, it's not it's not the same like reading the, um, like seeing the numbers go up on the video and stuff uh, as it is seeing people in person. So um, uh, yeah, most most days it doesn't really feel like anything and then, yeah. and then occasionally we do like the meet, meet and greets and stuff and it's like oh wow there's loads of you and you're all really nice and stuff, yeah so, uh, you're all lovely yeah. so it, yeah so it feels it feels surreal <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh Blanchard donates thank you very much Tyler Latourneau donates again thank you uh, Grit says thank can you. we get a Kingdom Hearts Let's Play maybe the new one when that comes Ooh, out oh yeah oh man yeah that would be intense I've been trying to get through them at the moment to yeah, like why well, I don't want to say moment? get through them I'm on Kingdom Hearts 2 okay and I sort of want to talk about it a little bit on show of the weekend at some point because oh, okay. it's in there's there's some interesting character models in there <laughs> let's just say right so yeah um I won't spoil anything we, I briefly mentioned it to you but having seen it properly it was just like Wow. Uh, okay. Stephen yeah. Bills donates and says, "Are there any bands slash musical styles that you like that people would not expect?" Uh, uh, yeah, I really like I really like hip hop, which people yeah, might not expect. Yeah. Hop, yeah. Um, um, uh, I I listen uh, to a lot of show tunes. That's true. He does. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't I don't I guess the kind of music that we normally talk about, people perhaps wouldn't expect that. Well, you do make a lot of lay miss references. <laughs> <laughs> and yet I feel not enough. Uh, we've only got six minutes left on the stream, <laughs> guys. So really? yeah, so wow. we're at, yeah five twenty-four. So yeah, Mike Little says, "Hey, you're glad to see Ellen's fun. well again." Yeah. I can't watch the stream right now, but I will when I get off work. Just wanted to stop by cool. and say thanks for all the smiles and laughs you've given my wife and me. Thanks a Thank ton. You. you are welcome. Thank you for watching. Uh, Commander Janeway is back, saying, "Andy, Mike, not here. Let him know. I'm calling you out. I will take." <laughs> I'll take both your hitman to Prince of Chaos, Mike, and your silent assassin king, Crowns, Andy. After all, I am a flamingo. Yay. You can be a flamingo hitman too. There's a flamingo costume. You so can, yeah. yes. Raph Bartholomew says, I forgot about the stream, but clearly didn't forget that much because they're here in the comments. So that's good. Uh, Talisin says, Flamingos never say die. Big fan from Colorado. Easter Falls says, hello, congrats on 500,000 subscribers. I bought Dead of Winter due to Ellen's recommendations. Counter suggestion, One Night Ultimate Werewolf. Ooh, Bear that in yeah. mind. Uh, Ray Owen 71 says Luke Sylvanus went full mic on the night elves yeah there you go <laughs> yeah yeah. I don't know I think that's I, I think that might even be unfair on mic <laughs> <laughs> AC Sniper Gaming says would love a second Kingdoms of Amalur game as is awesome yes uh, Anna Gusmao says congrats on 500k subs I appreciate all the hard work put into the videos you guys never fail to make me smile tabletop gaming recommendation I Dark Overlord check it out love from Ooh. Brazil uh, Adrian Vasquez says, oh dear God, I haven't missed. That's cool. Lazy Pizza Guy donates. And Commander Janeway says, curing your arachnophobia, Ellen. Mm -hmm. so, uh, My Juice donates and says, congrats on the 500k from Australia. Thank you very much, My Juice. And uh, Lazy Pizza Guy says, people's issue with the burning was the reason. I'm not sure what that's in reference to, but I thank you. That would be in reference to World of Warcraft. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Bionicai008 donates. Thank you very much. Adrian Vasquez says, do you guys ever get confused for other streamers? Uh, people say I look like the guy from Smosh a lot. I don't, oh, yeah? I don't see it. <laughs> what? Uh, Ian from Smosh. I know, but yeah, what? I, know. I, get, I get that sometimes. Uh, Bored and Bearded says, amazing jobs, guys. Congrats on 500k. Quick question, which September releases are you most excited for? Spider-Man. There you go. Yeah. Life is strange. They're taking three weeks off to binge them all, so... That's a good advice. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. Uh, Caden Sal says, you should do something over in the US like EGX. We would love to. It's just um, sorting it out would be tricky, but um, hopefully we can do something like that in the future. Yeah, it, it is something we've thought about, and it's something that we have in mind. So, Commander uh, Janeway yeah. with a horse suggestion here. Uh, Horace and yes. Ford. Ah, oh, sort of Horace and good. Ford. I like it. Okay, so... Also, uh, that nicely coincides with the invention of the Ford, I think. Yeah. Timing-wise, yeah. it's just obsolete. before, yeah. Uh, Ian Goldring says, Abyssinian, don't tell my random moggy spike. Aww. So, cat breeds here. Uh, Greg Sanders says, huge fan of you guys. Wish you all the best. Thanks, Greg. That's nice. Uh, okay, well, seeing as we've got six minutes left, I think this important story note is probably going to be the, uh, the final confrontation. Yeah. Ellen, I think it's probably fitting if you, <laughs> okay. if you do it. What kind okay. of monster would I be if I, took, if I did the final boss in King's Oh, Elaborate Sky, who's in oh, hospital recovering from surgery, history. is asking what our favorite classic, cult classic movie is. Oh, yeah, quick, yeah, quick yeah. fire. I'm going to say Escape from New York. Breakfast Club? Is that a cult? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 
Oh, and Speed Racer. I love Speed, Speed Racer. Speed Racer. Yeah. Uh, Red Harlow from Red Dead, Redem Red Dead Revolver, I see, says, congrats on 500k, love both channels. And he's so excited for Red Dead Redemption 2, love from Australia. Yes, it's going to be great. Uh, Rowan Church is a new channel member. Welcome along. Uh, Zach Morrow says, how about Ox Boys? <laughs> Ox Boys. <laughs> well, B-O-I-S. You know what they say. <laughs> It's time. <laughs> it's time for work, Ox Boys. It's time for work, boys. Eloise Durr and Tierney it says, Home early for work and catching a live stream. Yay. Do any of the Oxbox or Oxra crew have any game inspired tattoos? None of us have any tattoos. None of us have any tattoos. But there is a video about ones that we would want if yeah. we were to get them on Oxra's channel. So if you search outside extra tattoos, you can see the stuff that we would like to get in the future. I'd quite like to make another one of those. Uh, um, yeah. Videos, to be honest, uh, because I feel like there are more tattoos we could do. Like that video did really well, and I had so much fun talking about tattoos I would hypothetically get. Yeah. It's almost, yeah. I felt like it was vicariously getting the thrill of getting an actual tattoo. Yeah. Uh, Raph Bartholomew says, I've gained another lizard since the cricket incident. No oh, more okay. escapes, but had a close call earlier. Brother dropped a milk carton on the locust boxes. Yeah. So it's all going on over there. Yeah, it's all. At Raph Bartholomew's Speaking place. Off. A human probably says you guys have helped me through a lot. Happy to help. Thank yes, you. Ellen. Yes, Ellen. Yes, Ellen. Do it. Nice. Here we Matthew go. Iderson says, I'm starting to think you're all a bad influence on me. The last five games I bought, I bought because I saw them on your videos. So good. Glad we could help, Matthew. There you go, you got him. Hey! Uh, Commander Janeway, yeah, as someone like with a chronic from... illness, it's been a big help to have two great channels to watch on hard days, like yours. Oh, so thank you. Yeah, happy to help. Yeah, happy and to thank help. thank you for watching. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the Thomas Jarvis oh. says, congrats on 500k. If you could have one console on a desert island, what would it be and why? Um, probably Switch. So that I could... Oh, yeah, you could move around the island when, like, the wolves came out at yeah, night. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And also, like, if I just had a PlayStation 4, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'd yeah. just be able to, like, listen to the exactly. disc going round. Which would be its own sort of fun. Oh, shout out to Amanda Slatten's husband, who's at work, and it's their five-year anniversary this month. Hey, we love watching your videos and finally caught it live. Well, happy happy five-year anniversary, nice. you guys. That's yeah. awesome. What's I knew you kids would make it. What's the five-year anniversary gift? Uh, I don't know. Five-year anniversary is wood. Wood! So get something wood. So maybe get some reclaimed driftwood yeah. and sculpt it into a canoe. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> Angus Warrender says, if you could become any video game psychic, who would it be and why would it obviously be Waluigi? <laughs> I think it's because of uh, his weird moustache. That's why I choose him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, I'd probably choose um, Tails because Tails, I feel like Tails has a life outside of Sonic. Yeah, and also yeah. also can fly. I'd like yeah. to be um, the, the kid from Professor Layton who just follows Professor Layton around and goes, Luke. Oh, Professor. 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 Yeah. Professor, I've solved the puzzle. No, Luke. You must always be a gentleman, Luke. You must always. Oh, all right. Oh, Professor. Uh, so okay. Yeah, I want to be him. Uh, Brandon Newbat says, is there any games that you've always meant to play but haven't yet? Dark Souls is uh, the answer for me. Yep, 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 yep. Um, um, oh, man. We're, yeah, Final Fantasy again. Uh, no, I don't know when I'm going to... Devin Mooney says, I love all your games. What's your favourite PS2 game? Mine is Jack and Daxter. Uh, PS2 the games. Was the oh, Shadow of the Two. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus was great. It's great. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Um... Metal Gear. Which Metal Gear was that? I didn't play any of the Metal Gear games. I'm just trying to think of good PS2. Snake Eater. There were so many. The PS2 was... Oh, Tony yeah. Hawk's. Tony Hawk's my favorite. Oh, I love Tony Hawk's. Yeah, 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 I played yeah. that on the GameCube, but it still counts. Yeah. Definitely. Same joke. Um, yeah, uh, Rainier Hood says, I would a thousand percent expect Luke was into show tunes, so not surprising anyone. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't surprising after all. Uh, Caden says... Caden Sile says, Ellen started a petition to make this backwards compatible. I would vote. I think there actually is a petition... I'll try Sign and find it, it yeah. and share it on Bob, Twitter. <laughs> Bob Mumby says, the Boggarts remind me of an old family myth of a Mumby who outwitted a Boggart to farm a field. So there you go. Nice. Uh, nice Josh one. Pierini says, great job on 500k. Mumby. Looking forward to when the world has been converted over to Austrians. So there's another name. Austrians. Austrians. And Ian Goldring says, before I forget again, congrats on 500k oh here goodness. since day one. So Aww. thanks a lot, Ian. That's awesome. Yes, thank we you. We finally we got through all the comments. We got through the wow, amazing. and it is five thirty-two. Okay, well, uh -huh. uh, it looks like uh, it is time to end this very special five hundred. Yeah, stream, thank you. There were so you. many comments. Thank you so much, everyone who yeah. came by to say hi. We really appreciate all yeah. of your well wishes. Um, Obviously, we couldn't have done any of this without you. You are exactly. The, thank you. You are the bedrock on which Outside Extra is built. You are. You are the solid foundations. Oh, Orca died. <laughs> Orca died. <laughs> That's all right. But hey, look. <laughs> Canonically dead. Canonic Orcus canonically dead now. I guess there won't be another one of these. For the stream. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. 
Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for helping us get to half a million. It's been, uh, yeah, this is the best job I've ever had. Yeah. And it's really surreal and thank you so much uh, it's great and I'll stop now before it gets too totally yeah. yes yeah. but thank you everyone we really appreciate it and we'll see you at the next live stream yeah yes. we'll see so, the next one okay. uh, look for show of the week yes yes show of the week later today later and show today. the weekend tomorrow show of the weekend tomorrow it's in my top five episodes ever yep. so and go spitfires aces yeah. high everyone. Yeah. thank bye. you for watching everyone bye, bye.